Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mark Headley here. Uh, let me see if I could find out where the, uh, there she is. Sorry we're late, guys. I was doing another channel show, and we went a little over, and I had to get a whole new camera, and I had to get a whole new setup, and it was like a whole big rigor roll. Anyway, here we are. We're live. Um, say hi, Claire. Hey, 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 everybody. Thank you for your patience. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> you know, um, a lot of people have been asking um, where I've been. And uh, I'm just going to read this note real quick. It says, everything is fine. I am okay. I have not been locked up in a cage by my wife. Everything is perfectly okay. And everything is wonderful in my life. Um, they told me to say that at the battered husband's uh, shelter. Um, oh, stop it. Can people hear me? Yes, they can hear you. Oh, oh my goodness. Somebody said, is Mark's <laughs> microphone on? Um, uh, oh, my blink, God. Blink twice if you need to be rescued. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I have been working folks. I have had, um, I've had, you know, Scientology has been doing everything they can to make it so that I, I can't, uh, uh, do my job and they're trying to ruin my, uh, my business life. And, um, I don't know if I'm just slaying it, uh, recently or if I've been slaying it all along, but I am not, um, Whatever work they're taking away, I'm getting more work from other places. So, um, so yeah, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do that. And, uh, and Claire's been very busy, uh, on the channel and, uh, doing videos with, uh, other channels and, um, yeah, didn't, uh, Scientology stories and where is Shelly? So she's been, uh, doing just, just great. And, uh, and there's been a lot of content, uh, coming out from her, but, uh, yeah, I am going to get back into the groove of things again. And, yeah, um, I, I'm not you, honey. I've gotten so many questions that are like, is Mark okay? I'm like, yes, he's fine. He's yeah. just not even here. I'm he's good. not doing lives with Joe or Billy Bob or even me for that matter. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, um, I haven't been doing any lives with anybody except for yeah. the other channel that I was just doing a live with, but, um, it wasn't a live actually. It was a, it was a, um, uh, like a pre recorded video that they're going to edit up. Yep. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, we have so many things to talk about guys. I didn't, um, I was going to make a whole bunch of notes and, you know, I usually try to make some notes, but at the end of the day, we're just going to talk about whatever I'm going to talk about. You know yep. how it is. Um, I did have to get a, um, a different camera because the person that I was doing a show uh, with, um, my iPhone wouldn't work on their platform. So this is the first time I'm actually using this camera uh, for a video on our channel. So if you like it, uh, let me know, but otherwise, um, I'm probably going to switch back to my other camera because I like that camera and just the way I had the set up, I like it better. But yeah, I have my, to. My my vote is the other camera. You look, um, I mean, you look great, but you look just... more pixelated. I do. A tad more, not not hugely, but I can I can see a difference. Okay. Well, I don't I don't know about anybody else. That's what I see. Okay, folks. Well, you heard it here. Claire's uh, Claire's giving me the uh, the down th the thumbs down for this camera. But uh, anyway, it's all good. I don't care. I, I I think I look. You know, I look like me. You know, it's not much you can do with this mug of mine. Um, but uh, what what was I going to say? There's so much stuff happening. Um, I did put a thing in the um, in the thumbnail about like stuff that's coming up with Scientology. Um, there is so much stuff happening right now <laughs> behind the scenes. And, um, I'm trying to think of what, like the, just even with these spy files, um, the spy files, um, the Scientology has about 40,000 pages of documents, which have, um, are the, which are getting to see the light of day. And the more people that go through these documents, the more things we find that are just insane. Yeah. And, and let's not forget, this is the 40,000 that we have access to. There are oh, hundreds yeah. of thousands that they have. Totally. Yeah. It's, it's, it's sort of, um, 
it's sort of ridiculous about how much stuff that they put in writing to each other that they talk about that they should not be putting in writing to each other and talking about. Yeah. And it's so funny to me that at the international headquarters, we would have to do the shredding every single day. And no matter where you worked, if there was a piece of paper that had a, that had writings or communications on, um, and you wrote it to somebody and then they, and then they wrote you something back, you would have to, when it was all done, you would have to shred it. Even if, if it was just like, Hey, I need a pair of contacts. My contacts are worn out. I need a new pair. Uh, please approve $40 so I can get, uh, you know, a, a month supply of contacts. If you got that back and it was approved and you ended up getting your contacts, you would have to shred that document because nobody needs to know that you're trying to get your contacts. Um, nor, nor that you had to ask for approval to get yeah. your contacts. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said my lighting and, and is terrible. And that you got approval. <laughs> Somebody said my lighting is terrible. Oh, no. Um, yep. Sorry. See, that's what I'm telling you. This this camera, it's it's got different color temps. And anyway, um, I don't All care right. about I'm not that excited about the lighting I had in the first place, but I'm going to um, I'm going to we're going to stick it out, folks. We're going to stick okay. it out. All right. You're welcome to jump out for two minutes. I can nah. shout out to everybody. I'm good. Who, where they came from. OK, it's all I'm good. fine. Yep. Thank you, Anada. I appreciate it. <laughs> Anada. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank. Welcome back to you, too, Anada. Um, <laughs> Anada. And Anada. Yeah. That's um, like, shout out to Casey <laughs> in the house. <laughs> <laughs> were we 12 minutes late uh, no we, we were, weren't 12 it was no. 505 come on yeah i was um, I, we were we were having a good laugh in the chat about how you had to find your password and you know because it had been so long since that's you exactly in. what happened no i no i literally <laughs> um i was gonna i had done the other video i actually have to go back and finish that video with that other channel because i said oh, no. hey i gotta do a live um but then uh, she was like, okay, well, when you're done, we'll go back. And so then I thought, well, if I switch back over to my other camera, then I'm gonna have to switch back. And then, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do with this camera and leave everything the way it is. Okay. Um, anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, see, people are saying he was way too bass heavy and this is better. You know, I haven't changed my audio setup at all. It's, that's been pretty good, but um, I do have, I think my bass, I think my, voice does have a little bit more bass it does yep yeah. i can hear that anyway i'm sorry guys about the camera i'll put the other camera back next time we do a video it'll have that camera how about that yeah yeah we'll be good um, we're gonna we are we agreed we're gonna do um a 40k subscriber count celebration oh, which well, is this, coming up shortly what do you mean what are we at right now we're not there yet well i know but we could get there in this thing if you're okay if, Let's, but let's, I'm just I'm just saying we could do we're at thirty nine five oh two. Okay, well I'm gonna get my little counter. There's a way I can put the counter up here. Um by the way, look what um I got from Ms. Pillow. Oh, cracker liquor. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. I don't know how to oh here it is. Is this it? There's a way to oh yeah, see live count. Thirty nine thousand five hundred. 500 more subscribers and we hit 40,000. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't want to do the longest live in the world, but if you're not a subscriber yet, you could put us over the top. We're going to give, we're going to do some giveaways tonight and we'll do, if we do a 40, I'll tell you what, if we do a 40,000, well, I'll give away five, I'll give away five books if we hit 40 K or five or five things from the merch store. Um, we have a lot of merch, you know, people have been sending pictures and we got to do this too. And at the blown for good website, if you want to send us a picture, do they have it set up? I'm going to say it's set up and hopefully yep. those pictures, we get those pictures. Yep, it's set um, up. But um, if you go to blownforgood.com and you're, and you've already got some merch from us and you want more merch, send us a picture with the merch that you do have. And we'll pick, we'll pick some of the best pictures and we'll send you some more merch that you don't have. We've got, uh, we've got those hail Zenu mugs. We've got um, we've got Zenu is my homeboy mugs. We even we even added some Claire Bear merch. Yay. We got Claire Bear mugs. <laughs> we got Zenu is my homeboy. We got Zenu is my homeboy uh, sweatshirts, t-shirts, tank tops, hats, mouse pads. We got we got a lot of merch. 
Um, but people have been sending in pictures of them with either a bobblehead or their SP bracelet or their Xeno is my homeboy sweatshirt at Scientology organizations, which I think is hilarious. I mean, I don't want you to harass them, but a picture ain't, you know, that ain't no sweat off anybody's back. Come on. No, um, absolutely. But um, yeah, if you've got, uh, if you've got merch and you've got a good picture of you with the merch, then um then send us a picture. Go to blownforgood.com. I think it's, uh, can, can you tell them what the, uh, we'll put a link in the in the uh, description for the Blown For Good site. But um, I think yes. it's contact us or, you know, yeah. whatever you think would be the place where you'd send us something. That's where it is. And you can attach an image and you can you can shoot it right to me. Yep. Um, and um, yeah, sub it up. We got, uh, we're at 512 already. See, some of you did something because it's now the numbers difference, 39, 512. Um, (laughs) So I'll just keep that over here. I just got a little thing that says what that is. So I'm just going to, you know, kind of keeping a little peek at that. So yeah, I did. I just checked the site and it is contact us. It has the option for you to add your name, your email and attach files. So to submit fan art or file, it has a spot where you can, include that so um and the whole intention of that was for shoops and bobblehead picks and merch picks and all of that fun stuff nice yeah we um we used to do a thing um where we would do these shoops every week we just people would send us um photoshopped documents that were hilarious and um but then we started getting into the spy files and we started getting into where shelly and scientology stories and i just thought it was sort of like it was fun to do the shoops, but if we've got real stuff to talk about, we're going to talk about the real stuff. And um, although I love having a good time while talking about real stuff. So if you've got shoops or you've got bobblehead picks or you've got funny uh, picks, then um, then send them and we'll show them. How about yeah. that? We're not going to make, we probably won't make a big production out of it, but you know, if there, if there's some good stuff, then uh, you know, We'll, we'll my up. my vote is that when we do the 40k celebration that we should yeah. we can pop up some of the most popular ones that won like we can do a best of the best like people can vote on the best of all the winners or something okay. like that when That's are we supposed to do saying. this forty thousand celebration whenever we hit forty thousand. Oh, so we're not going to do it and try to get to 40k i thought no. we were going to like go like let's get 40k i'll tell you what if we don't have 40k i'll tell you this if we get 40k we'll do a video on sunday can we do a video on sunday uh yeah can i have permission to do a video on sunday stop it i've been trained i've been trained since (laughs) you guys haven't seen me oh my god i don't want to get any i don't want to get any um uh how many do i need to come down there and talk lashings yeah i don't want to get any more lashings (laughs) um stop it um if we do get to 40k we'll do a video on sunday and if we get close to 40k we'll do a video on sunday and try to get to 40k um how about that um but um because we have so many we do have have, you have to leave again on tuesday yes i've got another trip following week so after that we'll be back on a regular viewing schedule and people won't have to be concerned for your well-being any longer yeah (laughs) <laughs> and I know the people that are watching lives, those are probably the most likely people that are subscribed because they got to notice that we're going to do a live. So now they're here. Um, but uh, yeah, I got to go back in the cage again, guys. So you got to get me the, uh, you got to get me those subs, man. I'm not going to, I get let out based on subs. Okay. And we, that's wow. the only reason we got out now because we're almost the 40 K. So anyway, um, you need to ask for each of us touring a friend to sub. Yeah, ask a friend to sub. sub. Um, anyway, I'm reading the lives while doing the video, which I normally don't do because yep. I have notes. And because I don't have notes, I'm doing that. Um, Serge, <laughs> people are saying here, I'm going to put it up. How about that? By the way, how's Serge doing? Oh. Serge is doing great, guys. I, I want to tell you that Serge reads the comments of the videos. I talked to him the other day, and he's been reading the comments. So the people that are like, Serge good going, great for you, all that good stuff. He's reading that and he is thrilled that people are loving the story. And I said, you know, other people, there's some other people that aren't getting too much love in the comments, but that's not you, Serge. Um, 
but um he <laughs> he he um he really does like the uh, reading about and seeing people like it. And he's also um, people that went to the um, people that were in the cadet organization. When he was a kid, he was in this thing called the CEO or the cadet estates organization. So sort of like where they used to babysit Sea Org members, kids in Scientology. It was a Sea Org unit that was in charge of the kids. And um, and he talked he's talked to a bunch of people that were there. Um, a bunch of people that were in the Sea Org with him that are now out of Scientology or out of the Sea Organization. So he has had, um, I mean, he ha I want to say he had like, he maybe had four people in his, four or five people in his contact list. Yeah. And he's got and, about, and he's got about 15 or 20 now, I, I, I think, based just based on all the people that he talked, uh, that he told me that he's yep. talking to yeah and he even was able to reconnect or not even reconnect connect with a half sister he didn't even know he had he was absolutely yeah. thrilled um he he uh somebody sent in pillowcases that were amusement theme uh, amusement park theme he got those today and he was like oh my gosh i love them somebody made him a quilt and i sent him the picture and he was like oh my gosh i'm so excited i love it anyway it's awesome and then um, a number of people gave him donations through our, um, the blown for good merch store. So we got those to him anyway. He, he really appreciates all the support and he is yeah. amazing. And whoever sent that button, somebody sent in a, um, a thing for people that have hooks to be able to use button, button up to, shirts to do zip ups, zippers. Oh no, it's for buttons. Oh, it is. Oh, yes, okay. For buttons. Okay. Anyway. Um, so we sent him that he was really excited. I told him about that. Yeah. Um, they, they even sent the YouTube video of how to use it. We sent yes. that to him. Yeah. Yes. Obviously one of us did not watch it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not saying who, <laughs> yeah. Her initials <laughs> rhyme with hair. Oh, funny. <laughs> um, anyway, I, that's a joke I do. Her initials rhyme with hair bedly. Um, <laughs> anyway, um so uh, yes so surge is doing amazing um and yes if you did send in donations via the uh, merch store or the blown for good cider however you did it we he got them and he was very excited about those yeah um and we still are trying to um we're still trying to figure out if there's another way we can do um something where we could you know um get him additional you know, spending money and stuff like that. For now, that's how we're doing it. But um, we don't re want him to lose his benefits or any of his stuff. Yeah. So um, we're, we're, we're researching trying to, how to, how yeah, to, we're trying to do that just careful. very carefully so that he doesn't, uh, he doesn't risk his, um, his, the, the, the resources that he does have access to now. Yep. Um, and then um, we have the spy files. We're going to do, we're going to start doing some more spy files on our end. I've been working with a lot of people that are covering those now and we've just basically been um i've been working on trying to get as many files to as many other people as possible so that it's not just me doing a video on youtube every week about one file so that we can sort of have like a massive impact um and let, i'll just say an international uh widespread impact i'll just i'll just leave it at that um, yep. but these, these files are making their ways around a lot of places. And, um, and that was another thing that we realized is that we thought that there was just illegal activities happening in the United States. And then when we started looking through the files, uh, we started finding out a lot of other foreign governments would like to see some of these documents and what Scientology is doing abroad. And so, um, so yeah, so it's more important trying to figure out how to say this without not coming. It's just more important that we um, do what's good to for the cause of getting the information out and exposing Scientology as opposed to just for our channel. So I've been um, I've been trying to resist the urge to do as many videos as possible and work on these other things. And um, and that's sort of starting to pay off now. It's just taken a few more months than I thought it would take. And um, but um but it's really it's really exciting guys and we have so much stuff in the works that are just going to um you know it's just going to start um 
snowballing in terms of um, the impact. And you know, we did this um, Australian uh, 60 Minutes uh, show and that thing, I don't know, can you pull that up, Claire? I don't know how many um, views that's up to. Yeah, I can um, look. The last time I looked, well, let's just see what it's at now because I don't want to say it was a blah, 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 and it's got like, you know, eight more views than when I saw it a week <laughs> ago. <laughs> um, but um, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to pump up that uh, that video. It says, says 1.6 million views there and you it go. aired two weeks ago. Exactly. Exactly. So last time I looked at it, it was about a million. So it's about it's 1.6. Yeah. Okay. Now that to me, um, it's great that we do videos on our channel and they're unedited and they're un sort of filtered and we just get to say whatever we want. But a show like that that's going to get a, a good message out and it's going to reach 1.6 million people. That's something I'm going to spend some time doing. And you know, I did get some weird comments from some people like. There was this certain wording of the way they said certain things, or we didn't talk about this, or we didn't talk about that, or we didn't talk about the Jane Doe's more. We didn't edit the show, guys. We didn't write it. We didn't edit it. We didn't produce it. They interviewed us, and luckily, a few minutes of what we had to say made it into the show, yeah. and they aired it. So we did. We didn't even know who else was going to be on the show until yeah, it aired. <laughs> exactly. So, um, so all the haters out there that are like, "You didn't do this. You didn't do that." I, it wasn't my show. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I I agreed to appear on it because I thought they might, um, you know. They might use some of the stuff that we had to say, and they did, and I think it turned out great. So um, anyway, so I'm just saying that because I was sort of like, you know, we do what we do. We have lives, we have jobs, we do other things, and then we spend a certain amount of time um, exposing Scientology. That's our side gig, okay? Yeah. If you wanna say, that's what we do as a hobby, okay? Yeah. It's not my job. So when I do it, and I do like, I think we slayed it, okay? We both got to be on it. We both got to um, be together and they shot us in the same room with the same cameras. And, which, um, which had only ever happened before once on the Aftermath show, I think, or yeah. or on two episodes of the Aftermath where we were actually even in yeah. in the same room. We've, we've filmed a number of times together yeah. over the years. They flew a crew to Colorado. <laughs> we didn't go, have to go anywhere. And then... Um, and we did the show. It turned out great. And 1.6 million people saw it. And then somebody writes me saying, uh, you guys never, you didn't talk about the Jane Doe's. Uh, hate to break it to you. We did. They didn't <laughs> include that. Okay. I didn't edit it and I didn't write it anyway. But it was so weird to me that we did all that. And then that's the thing. I'm like, those are the, those are the fans that are supposedly, or, or friends or whatever that said that. And I was sort of like, I'm, I'm like, okay, I don't know. I get, I give up, you know? And so, um, yeah, 60 minutes, Australia. Thank you very much. It was a great program. Um, and anybody who's got any complaints right to them. Um, anyway, so, so that happened. Um, and what else did we do? Claire's been on fire on these other channels. Um, Claire's there's a whole bunch of channels that have been writing to us. Um, and, when we had like 5,000 subscribers or 8,000 or whatever, I was just like, hey, we need to work on our channel. And then um, when some of these other channels started um, writing to us, when we got up into the 30,000s or whatever, it's like, you know what? Let's let's see what these guys, uh, let's go on their channel. So um, anyway, it's all good. Yeah, um, it's, it's been fun. I, I've had some really interesting conversations with a lot of people. The two interviews I did with Shalise Sola from Cults to Consciousness aired this week. That was that was just amazing conversation. And it's really, I think it's it's we're growing this massive network that is just gaining momentum. And the beauty and power of this is un, quite unlike anything we've seen in the 18 years that we've been aggressively attacked by Scientology and OSA. So it's, it's really something. Yeah. And we used to, um, I mean, we used to do like a video on uh, Karen Della Carriere's channel back in the early days when she was like the only person, her and um, who was it? Mark Bunker had a channel. Tori yep. Chrisman had a channel and we used to do, um, we used to do their shows. We used to do shows with those guys. I do it. I sit down and talk to Jeff, Augustine for two hours or, 
you know, we do that stuff. And it was sort of like, um, you know, we're just trying to get the word out. And we had a channel that whole time. We've had a channel. We've had a, I think the Blown for Good channel has been around since like 2008, I want to say. Yeah, I don't probably. Even know. I don't even know how long I've had the channel. I want to say 2008. Yeah. Uh, at least 2009 when the book came out. Um, and, um, and we were just sort of like, whatever, you know, and now, um, what's her, uh, Jenna, Jenna Miscavige. I know. I, I just, I, I want to yeah. say it has like 7,000 subscribers. At this no, point. no. It's she's a, up to like 8,500. She it's put ridiculous. it up on, uh, on August 17th. So it was like a week ago. Yeah. And I no, was like, <laughs> she has no content. She has yeah. no content. It's amazing. <laughs> she has 8,000 subscribers. Yeah. So, um, oh, so, so to all the almost 1,300 people here, don't forget to subscribe to Jenna too. Yeah. Oh, I'm here's sure Goldie. Perfect. Coming. Look, Goldie, Jenna Miscavige, a channel with zero content, gained 8.25. So, so what is that? 8, 800, 8,250 subscribers in less than 24 hours. Okay. Yep. Um, so if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe. If you have subscribed to our channel, go subscribe to Jenna Miscavige's channel. She might even come out with a video one of these days and you might even get to watch it. Um, but um, we, it's so funny because a lot of the people that when we escaped, Claire, a lot of the people that we used to talk to yep. and that we were like, you need to do, got it. Oh, you should totally write a book. You should yep. totally write a book. Yep. And they're like, oh, I could never do that. And like you know, Ron Sr. was a yeah, perfect example yeah. of that. <laughs> oh, I was talking to Ron Sr. for so long. And then when he finally was like, I'm going to do it. I was like, what are you going to do? He's like, I'm going to write a book. I'm like, not another one of these stupid stories. He's like, no, no, no. I'm going to write a book about my time in Scientology. I was like, okay, good. He wrote that book um, that I told him not to make the um, title of it, whatever it was. Um, what did he call the book? Hideouts, hideouts. Oh, oh, oh the, the not the final title. Yeah. Oh, the oh title. no, 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 okay. no, no. Yeah. The title of that little storybook that he did. He just wrote oh. a little. I'm not going to say the title. You have to look it up on Amazon. It's yeah. Ron Miscavige's first book. Um, the video will get demonetized if even I say the title of that book. Um, but um, but he did it, and I told everybody that that book. People are going to think that's about David Miscavige. That book, and he would. He didn't believe me, but. Anyway, uh, but then he ended up writing his book um, and I was like, you know what? He, he really did a good job with his book and um, it got a lot of exposure. He did a ton of media, um, but then Jenna did, a, Jenna did a book years before his and yeah. her book, I think her book might still be in the top 10 uh, books on Amazon, on Scientology. Yeah. Uh, my book used to be in the top 10 um, you know, when we were selling it on Amazon, but I don't think we, I think the only thing we sell on Amazon really these days is the Kindle and the audio book. Yeah. So, we, we shut down the account. And by speaking of books, by the way, um, Liz Gale just put out her new book. It's yes. now available on Amazon. I was it's, listening to her. She was doing a video. Um, she was actually doing a live video today. She made such a great point in that video about, um, perspective because she has children that are growing mm -hmm. up yeah. and when she sees her kids at certain ages she thinks about what she was doing and she was thinking about what she was doing in Scientology in Scientology and what her parents were having her do in Scientology at the same age and that her kid is at now and she's just like why would you do that like I think her parents sent her off to the Scientology boarding school in Oregon Delphi the Delphian Foundation or the Delphian school or whatever they call themselves this day. Yeah. Um, when she was eight years old, they sent her off to boarding school. Yeah. And I thought, you've got to be kidding me. Eight and we've, years old. we've done that same thing that Liz was talking about so many times. We've talked about it before too. Like, yeah. you know, I was four years old when my yeah. mother joined the C organization. So when our kids were that age, it was really like, it was having, having our kids gave me, helped me gain my own perspective on my childhood because up until we had kids, I was still, even though I was out of Scientology, still just like, oh, whatever, I'm not going to talk about it. You know, I didn't even, we didn't even really talk about it that much. It's like, you know, just the, <laughs> leave the past behind. Let's not talk about that shit. <laughs> totally. 
Yeah, but so, but that, but so, but what I'm trying to say is that you get all these other viewpoints, all these other points of view on Scientology. And it's so crazy to me that all these people can have a totally different story, but the same exact things are happening. And I know. The same exact stories are coming out. And you think, and, and Scientology made a real big point of saying this when we were speaking out in 2006 and 2007 and 2008, they made a big point of saying, um, yes, there was physical violence going on. Yes, there were horrible things going on. And it was these guys that were doing it. It was Mark and Claire and Mike, Mike Rinder and these were the people Marty that, Rathbun Marty Rathbun these were the people that were that that were pushing the violence and pushing all these things and then you find out you talk to somebody who escaped 2 weeks ago and the stuff's still going on yep. and the the craziness and the stories and then you talk you talk to Liz Ferris and you find out they told her her father passed away when he didn't and you and you're just like this is the stuff that ended when we left in 2005 and you're right. still doing it like last week and the week before and two months ago. And yep. it's just like, um, you know, it's just like, you don't, you couldn't think that it's still doing, it's still going on. And, and they said it wasn't going on and yeah. then you thought, and okay, you think, maybe they, they pretended that yeah. they stopped. So, you know, or they really did stop because we started talking about it. You thought, okay. And I did hear some stories that now they don't, if a woman, if a, if a female gets pregnant in the C organization, um, they, they let them leave and they don't, they can't say anything. They can kind of like hope that they, they, they terminate it. But if they don't, then they just have to let them leave. But and as of but as of two weeks ago, we found out that they're back to the same. Back I know. So that's old. so then we hear a story that they're doing it again, and you just go like, okay, so they're just the the you know what is it the uh, the cat the cat can't change its stripes or you know I don't know you what to say. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. I know that one, but uh, <laughs> okay. Well, you would think I personally? Somebody's got to help me on the comments be, here. <laughs> they couldn't be so stupid to keep doing the things that everybody, the entire Earth, everyone on Earth agrees that these practices are destructive and evil and not okay, and yet, up uh, they. Got to get back to it. Leopard can't change its spots. That's what oh, the, the comments. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, comments, Bella Lada. Thank you. Thank you, comments, for coming <laughs> to my Britain rescue. And um, Sweet Liberty. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And also, they do have, I mean, we, we know to an extent they can't change their spots because they have to rely on L. Ron Hubbard and all the things that he wrote. But David Miscavige has been changing things that David that uh, L. Ron Hubbard wrote for 40, 50 years, and it hasn't stopped them at all. So you think, well, if 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 David Miscavige really did want to um, change the things that were happening, he would just come up with a reason why that these certain things had to change or L. Ron Hubbard didn't actually, we found out L. Ron Hubbard didn't actually write that or whatever the other excuses he's been using to change all the other things that he's been changing for the last 40 years. Um, he could just use that to change um, these other things, but they're not, they're not working on changing guys. They're working on shutting us up and shutting down the SPs and telling all the Scientologists um, how bad we are and all the bad things about us. And funnily enough, I think that might be what's leading all the Scientologists to our channels yep. is them talking smack about us because Scientologists find out about these big bad SPs that are on YouTube and they're on Facebook and they're on the internet. Um, we should show that. I don't know if we've ever done a video about the Facebook police like Jim Meskimen and um those guys that were writing to Brittany all my friends or, on uh, Facebook. Javier saying, Ruiz, his wife. You've got Brittany a friend on Facebook Stephanie that's or, bad news. Oh, and, and, and all these people that we know, too, like Lorianne Isaacson <laughs> yes. and Prudence Tweedy. I mean, come on, people. Prudence Millsap. Let's just name names because this yeah. is what they do. And I'm not friends with them, obviously. And they've got me blocked. So I'm sure they're 
to up to their same old nonsense. But yeah, speaking of Hubbard, by the way, I've been I started re-listening to Bareface Messiah, which is on my shelf back here. Yeah. And it it was just mind-boggling how Scientology fought that book tooth and claw. And 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 I was listening when I was listening today, I was laughing because the in in the court case, one of Scientology's tactics was like oh, you can't use L. Ron Hubbard's photo. Scientologists are going to think this is his actual biography. And the judge was like, really? The yeah. title is Barefaced Messiah. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. And you know, that is actually one of the clues that we got early on when we started doing stuff um, on Scientology is you don't have to make up anything when mm -hmm. you, in regards to Scientology. Just tell exactly what happened, name names, name places, and times. And the chances are somebody out there was there. And they're going to be like, yep, that happened. And that is exactly what's been happening with all the people that have been telling their stories. You've got these Scientologists or people that just um, were in Scientology as a child or um, they worked with somebody that was a Scientologist or whatever. They were just Scientology adjacent and they know about some of these things. And then you do have these people that like escaped and they've never told anybody in their family that they're not in Scientology and they don't even care anymore. And they start speaking out and then it's like, oh, there's this new big bad SP. It's like, no, this person's been there the whole time. And you didn't have a hate side out about them. But as soon as they start telling their story, you're like, oh, we're, it's time, you know, turn on the site, turn on the PIs, turn on the, you know, all these different things that they do. Yeah. But um, fire up that domain name that we purchased five years ago. Yeah. The, <laughs> well, you know, this is something that's really crazy. And so for those of you who don't know, on X, there is a thing that's been on there this whole time where Scientologists can block SPs. So they can block um, blown for good, at blown for good. That's my, uh, that's my X handle. Um, and they can block that. Well, when they block it and they tweet about me or, or, or another S, uh, Scientology, Osabot or whoever, when they tweet bad things about me, I can't see them because they have me blocked. Well, because it's sort of been that way and if somebody's hating on me and my channel i'm like whatever i i don't ever see it unless um they block me i just i just don't see it if they don't have me blocked i might see these things and every once in a while i do and i interact and then they just block me right away so then i'm like okay um somebody says x is that some porn site no it's what it's what they used to call twitter you maniac oh where have God, you it, been it's, it's so annoying um, though why anyway, did i have to go from twitter to X? well now people are saying i refuse to call it x that's what it's called you can call it whatever you want um but that's what the name is now i'm i'm with them okay you know i don't what? care i'm just gonna tell you what's about to happen and scientology is literally about to lose their minds <laughs> so they have this thing where scientologists can block SPs on X, X uh, AKA Twitter. And what happens is I'm talking about, um, you know, I'm talking about Xenu. He's my homeboy, how we busted him out of the cave that he, that uh, they, the loyal officers locked him in all this stuff. Well, Scientologists are not supposed to see any of that stuff. And because they have me blocked, they're never going to see it. Well, guess what's getting blocked? The block feature on X is getting blocked. <laughs> so there's going to be no more blocking unless I think I'm trying to, I don't even know who you can, I don't think you could block somebody on there. I don't know. There's going to be some way. Um, anyway, I don't know exactly how it's going to work out, but regardless, Scientologists are not going to be able to use X anymore because Yay. the SPs will not be able to be blocked. So uh, I know some people don't have, they have different ideas about stuff. I'm, I'm a Tesla. I'm a big Tesla fan and I'm a big space S X fan. So if you, you got a problem with that, I'm sorry. Um, I like not paying um, cause I have solar. My it's charging my car for free. I like that. I do also drive a, ram 2500 diesel when i'm not driving the tesla so i'm not necessarily your 
typical tree hugger kind of guy because I got to <laughs> haul equipment around and I need a big truck. Actually, so, actually, I would I would quite like to see you hug a tree, honey. That would be kind of funny. I, I've scratched my back on a tree in many a time, like a bear. But uh, anyway, but either way, um, we should call it X P K A Twitter. P K form. What's P? Previously known. Previously, as. Paca. <laughs> X Paca Twitter. Anyway, um, so regardless, um, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people on X, and um, there is a lot of people. Uh, we do actually, I have a lot of X followers on X. So, um, so I use it and this video right now is streaming on X. So, um, yeah. So Scientology is most likely going to have to get off X another, uh, platform they've already, Facebook is pretty much, um, banned for most Scientologists. I think you can block people on Facebook, but there's a lot of Scientologists that use Facebook to talk to SPs. They message SPs and stuff like that, even though they're not friends. I don't exactly know how they do it. But, um, and also Xenu's name starts with X. Come on guys, it's just a match made in heaven. And, um, and uh, people, and people, people get on my case because I make fun of their beliefs. I'm not making fun of their beliefs. Xenu nope. is my homeboy. I'm friends with him. Okay. <laughs> I'm not making fun of them. I just think that it's ridiculous that if you have an uh, intergalactic overlord that imprisoned billions and billions of people and transported them nine light years from his planet and brought them to earth and did all of that. And you hear the story and you're going to get on the side of a guy, a four foot 13 guy named Dave. You're going to go on his team instead of Xenu's team. I'm on team Xenu. That's what I'm just saying. Okay. So regardless of what you think of their beliefs, if they really do believe in an intergalactic um, space alien, um, why would you team up with Dave, with little Davey? I just don't think that's a, a really, it's just not a good decision. Um, anyway, so there's that. Um, Speaking so, of little Davy, we have some really exciting news. We do. Do you in. have the stuff? Do you have the stuff? No, I don't. Oh, you were supposed to get that ready. Okay, we are yeah. gonna in the next video we do, we are gonna show you some photos of the little Davy doll. The little Davy <laughs> doll is coming. The little Davy doll. Prepare to be amused. The little Davy doll is being made. We have several thousand little Davies coming our way and ready in way in time for Christmas. And the little Davy dolls are going to be a fundraiser for the aftermath foundation. Yep. And everyone we sell is going to go to help, um, is going to help to support the aftermath foundation and people that do escape from Scientology and need help and need, uh, uh, a helping hand getting their feet back down on the, uh, their feet on the ground and start their lives over or reconnect with their family that's not in Scientology or whatever they need. Um, these little Davy dolls are going to go help that. And these yep. little Davy dolls, I don't have, I did have one sample and I gave it to somebody that was very important to me. And um, so that person has the only one in existence right now. But when but we I do, we can guarantee you this the only person who will not be laughing is Captain Davy himself. Yes, Captain Davy is not going to like these Captain Davy dolls. And you know, we are going to have to do a, uh, we're going to have to do some kind of survey. We've, we've got about 10 names that are the best names ever. We got the Troll of the Hole, we got uh, the Troll of the troll Board, of the board. Yeah. TOB, the Troll of the Board um little davy doll captain davy doll um the troll from down under i mean we've got so many good um we've got so many good names for this little davy doll but little davy doll is what i i just gonna because everybody knows what who little davy is and it, there's a little davy doll um but it's so many good things captain of the whole Ca little captain davy doll david miscavige hates being called davy he hates being called captain and he hates people bringing up his height. So a little Davy doll is sort of, or little Captain Davy doll, sort of just, I don't know, troll the holes, troll the board. They're so, they're all good. <laughs> anyway, we'll have to figure out a name, and we might end up calling him all of those things, and then that way, 
whatever website Scientology sets up will just come up with new names to call it. Because if they don't, if they're not buying up all these uh, domain names, Little Davy Doll and uh, Troll the Hole, if they're not buying up all these don domains, I don't know what OSA's been up to. I mean, OSA, get on the get on the ball. Yeah. Okay? Um, okay. Should we do a giveaway? It's yes, forty five minutes in. Let's we got fifteen hundred people up in here. Oh, um, thanks to I think everybody we should take a little us. break. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Time to have some fun. Um, let's just do. I'm gonna do whatever. I'm going to, okay. we're just going to let it fly. We're just going to let our freak flags fry. And we're going to say, if you want a book, say book. If you want a merch, say merch. If, you know, if you want an SP bracelet, um, if you want a bobblehead, bobble whatever, just say whatever. You can say whatever. That's also, that'll, that's a winner. Um, whatever. <laughs> um, get in the comments. I'm going to give people, I, I like to, I like to really let people like, if you're watching on Apple TV, you got to get out your phone. You got to go to the channel. You got to find the video. You got to get in the comments. I know what it takes logistically to get up in there sometimes. Um, depending on what you're watching on, according to YouTube, about 75% of you are watching on a device that's in your hands but there are some other people um so let's see oh yeah there we go um let's see what we've got here let's do a five let's do a countdown from five um oh yeah there we go it's going now i see it when the when my stream yard starts to freeze up i know they're really rocking it out I in the know. comments there i know it's um, crazy. okay here we go this is it and skadoosh i didn't do the countdown out loud i did it in my head i'm sorry okay. june roberts bobblehead you got Boom. it, June Roberts. You, got you can it. go to blownforgood.com, June Roberts, and you can say um, that you won and Through that you like a bobblehead. Page, send us your address, and we will get that off to you. We'll teach you anything. Stranger than fiction, I will take anything. How about a thank you? Thank you, Stranger than fiction. <laughs> That's anything. Just wanted to give you anything. Um, I, Zenu, I, I'm going to do a giveaway too. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, Rocky Road. Zeno is my homeboy. Um, okay. Congratulations, June Roberts. Yes, thank you, Dom's mom. Seven two five. Let, thank let me, you. Let me do one thing here. What are you going to do? I'm going to do Lisa. Oh, you just picked one. Yes, because Lisa sent me this really awesome SPTV pouch that I made the SPTV creator. Uh, survival kit that I showed on the live with Amy. It had like my phone, you know, so you can film the PIs. I had um, pepper spray, you know, because you've got to be protected and you got to be careful. And then it had poopery because, you know, Osa smells like poo. <laughs> nice. Nice. Very. Anyway, sounds like so Lisa, it sounds whatever good. you want, shoot me an email. You know how to reach me. She said Thank merch. You. Well, yeah. no, but earlier she said book. So, oh. Well, whatever. It's all whatever, good. Give her both. She wants the most. <laughs> Give her both. How about that? Okay. Um, awesome. Well, see, there you go. I love giving stuff away. I tell you, we have so much good merch. I love when people wear the merch out and about and take pictures. And um, the Xenu, I'm trying to think what's doing the best. I think the mugs really do well, but we have got a lot of. Um, sweatshirts the hoodies a lot of those um blown for good hoodies and uh Zenu is my homeboy and hail Zenu. all and those... we have the whole where is shelly's uh, oh that's right we, those too. do pretty good too the where shelly stuff yep. is um pretty good as well so there's a lot of merch if you haven't been over to the blown for good store link is in the description you should go over there and check it out um christmas is coming up folks people love merch if you know somebody <laughs> that watches this channel um send them a mug send them a uh send them a mouse pad Send him a, uh, send him a hat, send him a, uh, send him a hat, send him an mm -hmm. SP bracelet. Tell you those SP, I've been wearing my SP bracelet. I, I, I mean, I don't take it off for anything. I think, I think when I was in the hospital, I had to take it off. That's the only time I take it off. Yeah. And that, that wasn't was years recently, ago. people. That was years ago. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't before I went to the battered husband shelter. I swear that never happened. Um, <laughs> seriously, stop it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Claire looks so good. Look at, look at this cut. They got to cut my hair short because, uh, you know, he gets pulled out in tufts. So you got to keep that, uh, got to keep it. So it's, it's non grabbable. That's what you really got to have. Oh my gosh. Um, that's what they you, teach. You do they know teach, we, we had our 31st anniversary they teach, a few days they ago, right? teach you all <laughs> kinds of tips at the battered husband shelter. That's right. Get that hair uh, short, man. Um, 
Sarah Forbear says, Mark, you were fit back in the day. I was fit back in the day. Um, I was very skinny. You could see my ribs. Um, <laughs> you could see my ribs too. Yeah. Remember, I you, used to, you always used to call me a T-Rex because my spine protruded so badly. <laughs> I used to, uh, I don't know about that. I didn't always call you T-Rex. Only oh. once in a while. That was a play name. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I... <laughs> I used to have a six pack when I was in the sea arc just because I didn't eat a lot, but now I have a two liter. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> you got to be some, prepared. You some. Win some, you lose some. Um, yeah, I think I got a 12 pack, not a six pack. Um, anyway, oh, boy. so um, what were we doing? What were we back to? Do we have, uh, do we have some, uh, oh yeah, we got a ton of comments. Let's yeah. do that. Let's get to the, um, let's get to these comments. <sighs> Um, oh, you are you starring just every single there's no, I did. I did a bunch. Comments. I did a bunch before we started just because I asked people in the chat to say okay. where they were from. So oh. you don't have to do all of them. But you know, it's good. I'll do it. Brisbane. Thank you. Cosmic Christie. Brisbane. Brisbane. Lincoln. Lincoln, California. I didn't even know there was a Lincoln, California. Me neither. Dastardly um, Saboteur. That's one of my favorite names on YouTube, by the there way. There are some good ones on here. Carol yes. D from UK. She's a regular. Uh, Thanks for Essex. being here, Carol. Um, Karen Radford from uh, Indianapolis. Nice. Thank you, Karen. We appreciate you coming in here. Um, from a poet, Brian Lucas. Hello from Central Arkansas. Nice. Um, howdy from Texas. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Boom, there you my, go. Fa my personal favorite. I was just going to say, Claire a is big a fan. big fan of Wonder Woman. <laughs> I personally am actually uh, the new Wonder Woman, that gal. Uh, uh, gal you Godot. Know, people, get, <laughs> people get on my case for calling women gal. No, this girl's name is gal. Um, <laughs> that gal Wonder Woman. People don't she's get amazing. on your case about that, honey. It's the B word that they don't like. Oh, broad. Yeah, I don't say yeah. that. I did figure out who I was hanging out with that said broad all the time. And when I accused him of... Uh, kind of, of uh, getting exerting me, undue influence on you yeah, when i accused <laughs> him of teaching me that and kind of getting me in the hang of calling people broad he said i taught him that i was like no 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 <laughs> anyway we, we we have fun with that um vancouver joe schmo from simcoe's uh hi from vancouver org hey see that's fun um <laughs> nor says claire aw i don't know what that was about but there you go not sure either. um uh, hey, Heidi Laura, Hooper. good to see you here. I'm just doing every one that Claire did. There might be some super chats in here or not. I don't know. She's was she's uh, her star. She, so the way it works on the back end for us in the in the StreamYard application or whichever application we're using is we're able to star certain comments. And those are the ones that I have served up in front of me to read. And Claire has starred all of these. And usually the app automatically stars the super chats. But I haven't seen any of those yet, so we'll see, um, guys. But Heidi Hooper, glad hey, everybody. It's Heidi from Atlanta. Glad to see Mark is going to be on tonight. We haven't seen him in a little while, it seems. This is true, Heidi. Thank you for welcoming me back. I appreciate it. Um, hello from Virginia, Bumblebee Tuna 477. Um, I meant Clearwater, Canada. Nancy Alley. Wow, there's a Clearwater, Canada? No, that's a joke that sprung up where people are oh. like, I'm from Clearwater, Ohio. Oh, yeah. That's I'm from people, Clearwater, California. People have done that a lot on this. That is a, a recurring theme. Mark and Claire and Matt and Amy win the SPTV Cutest Couples Award. Why, thank you. Thank you very Yay. much. I appreciate it. Um, how many other couples are there? Are there more than us? <laughs> that was a it. great question. Yeah, those are the only two. We win oh, no, there's Mike and Christy. Mike and oh, Christy. that's true. But Mike it, and Christy, oh, you know, they actually have been doing some lives lately. Yes, because, they um, have. They absolutely go in that in that bucket. But other than true. that, I don't think there's any other couples per se. So take that, Mike and Christy. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings now. from Dallas, Texas, Kaz. Thank you, Kaz. Um, Clearwater, California. I see. I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here, I have to put up this comment. It's funny. And okay, plus no. it's uh hold on, it's apostate Alex in the house. I am I am a couple, I am in a couple with myself and thus win couple of the year award. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> if you say so, Alex. That's funny. <laughs> that sounds weird to me, but okay. uh, you're in Scientology, so <laughs> um Goldie, I think I'll grab some coffee. 
Oh, I, I just hit that because I wanted you to give a shout out to Goldie because we've Goldie, missed her so much. I know, Goldie. I'm sorry. I haven't been giving you any work to do, but Claire's been keeping you mighty busy, so it's all good. Oh, hello from Malmo, Sweden. I went to Malmo, Sweden, picked up a pair of speakers once. Hello, Madeline from Malmo, <laughs> Sweden. Um, uh, yes, Malmo. I'm a big fan of Malmo. I was there for about eight minutes one time before I got back on the train with the speakers and went back to, to Copenhagen. Um, Julia, hello, Claire and Mark. Greetings from Nottingham, England. I've got my headphones on and I'm going to fall asleep while listening to you both. It's so great having Mark back. We've missed you. Thank you, Julia. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, we just had a friend visit from England for a week or so, and it was quite nice. And he had such a good time. <laughs> um, Maisie Barnett up oh, super chat. Thank you. It's very generous of you, Maisie. Claire, please tell us what you use on your hair. You're so beautiful inside and out. You're not chopped liver, Mark. Aww, um, I am thanks, definitely Maisie. chopped liver. Um, <laughs> so Claire, tell us what you did with your hair. I just did a little curling iron, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Make yeah. it, you know, have some form. I tell <laughs> nothing, you, nothing I fancy. Tell I I'm not good with patience. I don't have I don't have the patience to do some fancy blowout or nothing like that. Yeah, well, it doesn't take a lot to make Claire look really, really good. She can Aww. look just regular, really good, just whenever. But a little hair curling and poof. Um, SPTV tattoo warrior. Thank you for the super chat. Very generous. Box is on its way, Claire. Happy face emoji. Okay, then. Not quite. Um, I, I must be behind on my email, I guess. Thank hello, you. Thank Maria. You. <laughs> Maria de Jesus Gutierrez says, Mark, long time no see, put up a poll. Are you a sub? Um, we actually know, and this is really funny with our channel. We know there's a ton of Scientologists that watch our channel. Like, a lot. We can see where you're watching from. It breaks it down by the city. Okay, so we have... The Clearwater and Los Angeles are the two biggest cities. Yeah. So it's either because there's a lot of Scientology activity in those places, or there's a lot of Scientologists in those places, or both. But regardless, the Scientologists are afraid to subscribe because they think Scientology sees who they're subscribing to, and then they're going to get busted. So Scientologist, if you're going to watch our channel and you're going to find out all the juicy stuff that's happening in Scientology, set up a fake YouTube account, account or a second YouTube account call Billy Bob one, two, three or whatever and subscribe. Okay. You're messing up the algorithm. <laughs> You're getting it in your content anyway, because you watched. So, so you got to somebody... subscribe as well. Cause that helps the algorithm. Yeah. Pearl snappy in the chat said today is the day Scientology learns about VPNs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Scientologist Nord VPN. Okay, Atlas VPN, any of the U popular YouTube sponsored VPNs, get over there and get one. Mm -hmm. Log into that, log in from Germany and watch the videos. Okay. Yep. There you or, go. or Toronto or wherever you want to be. If you're in Germany, don't log in from Germany. If you're a Scientologist, log in from Los Angeles. Or you know what would be really funny? They should sign in from Gilman Hot Springs, California. <gasps> you can't really do it like that. I think it's no. like. No, in the U.S., I think it's like Denver, uh, West Coast or East Coast. Uh, oh. Depends on. It also does depend on which VPN you're using. But okay, that would be pretty funny, though. Yeah, but anyway, you can log in from. You can log in from different countries. I don't. I don't think you can be so specific. Um, I'll have to research that. But uh, if you have a <laughs> VPN company, make it from the city. You'll get a lot more Scientologists because they want to be very specifically not from where they're from. Yep. Um, Lori plays. Oh my God, the super couple of SPTV back together again. You guys are the best. We've been together. We just haven't been doing videos. That's all. <laughs> We've been here. Um, yes. And I have been doing, I really have been working and um, out of town a lot. So um, Susan B, so happy to see my favorite couple. Thank you, Susan B. Appreciate that. Very generous of you. Thank um, you. John Satowski, ending oh. Scientology, one Mr. Bill at a time. Thank you for the super chat, John Sadowski. Um, Good to see you here. Yeah. Oh, I showed that one. Susan B., thank you very much for that. John Sadowski. Oh, Gary Jackson Moorhead. Hey. hey, you too. Hey, Jackson. Um, yeah. Has Jackson been doing videos on his channel? I've not been keeping up with every single channel while I've been in my travels. I saw a comment from Goldie that 
would lead me to believe he hasn't put up new content lately. So come on, Jackson. Yeah. Well, Lazy maybe, we'll do a, maybe we'll do a collaboration with him and help him. Jackson, he works really hard. Off. He I'm does. Him Lazy I know. Bones because he's not doing any videos in his free he's time. Not, he's not, though. That He's, you know, he like us, he has a full time job. And then yeah. he's also, like us, been doing crazy work behind the scenes that we when we're not talking about and so yeah this is like um something else that we need to get get help him help him along with we'll we'll do that yeah it's all good too i do uh, who am i to talk i haven't done a video in like in a month um, <laughs> uh, um but yes um oh ann burrow says she's got a question um do you list video uh, videos from interviews you do on other channels, YouTube page. Claire's interview with Shalice was great. It made me cry. Um, yeah, I think we can make those. We can make those part of a playlist on the channel. We should just have oh. a playlist of other videos. I do have some playlists like that on the channel, like yeah. videos I've done with Jeff or I did with um, just any other channels with uh, even Chris Shelton. I did videos with um, yeah. Tony Ortega, whoever. Um, so we'll put those on the playlist on our channel. We'll make a um, There'll be a playlist on there. You'll you'll tell if it's if it's a bunch of videos that aren't on our channel, then that's the playlist. We'll make um, a crack a liquor playlist and a, a Claire Bear playlist. There you go. I did a um, did a video with Patrick Bet David uh, from Valuetainment on his channel. I think that's on our playlist. But that's actually one of the channels that sort of kind of convinced me to do a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Was the video was um, a video that I watched on Patrick Bet David's channel. So. Um, and then just because people kept writing to me saying, do it a YouTube channel, I was like, eh, I might as well. Um, Dom's Mom 725 again. Claire, saw your two-part uh, interview with Shalice, and you were amazing. I so admire your strength. You've turned a painful, a pain into a fight to help others escape, avoid the same pain. So much respect. Yeah, that's the other thing. That's the other reason um, we do do a lot of videos um, on our channel. And the reason we started doing videos on other people's channels is because um, we're trying to get the word out. So you guys have heard a lot of these stories that we're telling. And um, so it's fun to just go on another channel where they've got a whole nother set of people that some of them might be crossover, like the Shalice. There's a lot of people that subscribe to Shalice that also subscribe to our channel. But um, there might be other people um, over there that haven't seen some of our content. And the same thing with um, just other channels. Um, so we've been doing that with other channels. And we're not going on a lot of the other SPTV channels because there's tons of people that would love to tell their stories that would love to go on those other SPTV channels. And we don't need to hog up those guys' channels with our stuff. So it's sort of like um, just a way to spread the word on to um to people that might not be getting this content yep. so um so yeah so that's why we that's sort of our that's our idea of how we're doing it and so and they the like a perfect example is jenna miscavige's channel okay we haven't been on her channel and she's got seven thousand or eight thousand two hundred subscribers or whatever um from just people telling that she has a channel she's already got seven thousand subscribers so I'm pretty sure the Miscavige name's not hurting her bad, uh, hurting her too bad either. But um, so, um, but Jenna either way, is amazing. We love her. When dearly, we cannot so. wait till she does some videos, and we will definitely be on her channel if she wants us to. Yep. Um, welcome back, Mark. So glad to have you back. Thank you, Lisa Marchbanks, Dragonfish Handmade Goods. Um, Betsy Crutcher says, "So excited for more spy files." Yes, we are going to do more spy files. If I have to just break down and break out of my cage and come down here in the middle of the night while, while, while my wife is sleeping to do a video. Um, hey, hair well, that was Bentley, fun. can you get a bark to autograph cracker? <laughs> um, yeah, no, that cracker thing went horribly wrong. I'm sorry for all the people who really wanted me to eat a bunch of crackers and do funny cracker videos. That cracker, that whole cracker episode was just a horrible debacle. I cannot eat crackers. I'm just my body does not. Does, does not <laughs> that want to that have a trailer, cracker. that trailer that Kelly Copter helped us put together was kind of like the the pinnacle of that Mark's career with crackers, and that it's been entirely downhill since then. <laughs> I literally got sick from eating the crackers in that video that I did for Kelly. That's what turned me upside down, and um, it was like, yeah, you're not supposed to eat those um mixed uh snot face 
Thank you for the super chat, Snot Face. Um, that is an interesting uh, name. See, if you're going to, Scientologist, if you're going to set up a channel, call it Snot Face. Just that could be your username on YouTube. And um, all the OSA spies will look the other way. Miss seeing both of your faces together. Thank you, Snot Face. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Um, Kay Thompson says, love you guys. I'm a never inner, but had a, had a life changing experience that crippled, not literally me for a long time. You have helped me categorize and accept what happened. Your words help so many wow. hugs and kisses. Well, thank you, Kay. You know, Thanks, I was, Kay. it was really funny that I was the channel that I was on doing a video right before this. Um, we had talked about that one thing that, um, a lot of there's we've seen I've seen a bunch of comments like how can you um, how can you be joking and how can you talk lightly about this, you know, kind of horrible thing. And um, we've talked about it so much for so long um, that we've accepted what happened. It is what it is. And we were in the wrong place at the wrong time and or we were born into the wrong family or whatever that we ended up in the Scientology, but we're here now and we got here by going through that. And I sort of kind of love what I get to do and how I get to do it and my kids and my wife and my friends and my neighbors. And I, I sort of love my life now. So if I have to go through all that to get to here, then it is what it is. And um, yeah. It is and, what it and, is. and my take on that is, hey, we can either laugh or we can cry. You know, we can focus on what's ahead or we can regret what what lay behind. And there seems to me power forward. What you do today is what counts. Yeah, exactly. Well said. Bella Lotta said, you two remind me of George Burns and Gracie Allen. Thank you. That's very generous of you, Bella Lotta. And um, I, you might be dating yourselves on the George Byrne and the Gracie Allen because that's um, that's a while back there. That's I mean, it definitely went over Claire's head. I know exactly who those people are. And um, I watched a lot of TV as a small child. So just, um, just being honest, but, but I own you. I own my media ignorance. It's not face. Oh, it's not face is back again. Thank you uh, for the super chat. I miss your attitude, Mark. Well, thank you. Um, I, I I have the I think I have the same kind of uh, attitude as Claire. Uh, Gary Jackson Moorhead says, "Hey, Marky Mark, your lighting is running a little hot. Kicking a couple scrims, you know. I know it is, and I had to set this camera up for somebody else, and I didn't ha really have any way to to tweak the lighting or anything. So I'm just going with it for now. I will have my normal camera and normal lighting back up." On the next video, I promise. We will folks. be back to our regular programming shortly. Thanks for bringing it up, Jackson. I appreciate that. I really do. <laughs> he really does. Cat <laughs> Matt, Cat Mattietz, um, non Scientologist supports SPTV and the foundation. Thank you, Cat. I appreciate that. It's very generous of you. Yeah. Um, I really want to rep the Aftermath Foundation. Can we get some t shirts? Oh, yes. That's true. We does they? We, we didn't we do that? Some, I think we have something. We have some um, at the SP shop, but we'll add some more because somebody sent me designs recently that were pretty awesome. So, awesome. and actually I sent some of the shirts to Serge and he was thrilled. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we do get, people send us their own kind of homemade merch all the time. That Some yes. of it's really amazing. It is. And I mean, I just kind of wear these, uh, button down shirts. That's really the only thing I wear. I'm not wearing this special for this video. I just get off work and sit down and wear what I'm, I'm wearing. Mm. But um, we'll see if I can wear some merch for one of the videos. Um, I'm going to we'll wear see. my uh, Zeno is my homeboy shirt for our 40K party. Oh, do I have one of those? Uh, I think so. <laughs> oh, see, I'll see, check. guys, Chump Change Express over here. I'll She's stop. got one. She's stop got it. one. Do, she, do I have one? Eh, you, we'll have you, to check. You asked for a mug and I got you a mug. We'll have okay? to go down to the, the dungeon and see if there's any um, any merch <laughs> oh for God. me down there I definitely, in my, next to I, my cot. Um, <laughs> I definitely got you a hoodie. Oh, my God. Enough with this. It's too much. Not a oh, my gosh. Look at this. Hold on. I, I got to put this up real quick. Okay. Ready? Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Newman in the house. Oh my goodness, Eric, <laughs> don't show that. Okay, um, not a sheeple. Love you, Claire. Welcome home, Mark. So nice to see you back together. Thank you. 
Um, that's very generous. Thank you of you. Um, thank you for that. Peter Anderson, blown for good um, anniversary date, 2-11-2008. There you go. So even before I had a book, I had a YouTube channel. That's crazy. February 11, 2008. Yeah, I think I made some videos at the time. Um, if you want to go back in history, we'll have a little blown for good history lesson here. <laughs> I think at the time I was putting up some videos of these hate websites that they were putting up and I didn't really have a place to put them. So I just started a YouTube channel and put them there. And that's where I, if I had any videos, I wanted somebody to see, that's where I'd put them. And I did have some of the, of these really, um, weird behind the scenes videos of Tom Cruise and David Miscavige, um, backstage at one of his birthday parties. And I put some videos of that up and that's, that's all that was really sitting up there since, um, 2008. Veronica, I just, I, I starred this one myself <laughs> just because she said Veronica bomb, Veronica Bombria says, hello, cats and kittens. Isn't that what that, um, isn't that, um, come on comments. You know, um, the, What's uh, her name? the cat tiger, lady. Uh, yeah. Come on now. Tiger. Carol Baskin. Tiger. Yeah. There you go. Carol, Carol Baskin. Baskin. That's it. Cats and kittens. Oh my Hello, God. Hello, all you cats and kittens. Is that what she used to say? Cats and kittens? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. Nobody's confirmed it yet, but hello, Oof. all you cats and kittens. Oh, creepy. Um, Goldie's got this in the comments. I'll just put it here in case. I don't really think you can click on it, but it's in the comments so you can look for it. Get go. Gail's book here on Liz Amazon. Gale. This is Liz yeah. Gail's book. So um, uh, I guess if you want to see where to get Liz Gale's books, we can also put it in the in the description. Just make a note to yep. remember to put it in the description after we're done with the video. Yeah, I already ordered a copy. I'm going to see if if I can do a um, a thing with her, like I, with Liz, like I did with Catherine Spolino. Perfect. Yep. Um, Abigail, thank you. That's very generous of you. Hi, I mentioned this on Claire and Amy's Wednesday live stream, and it didn't work for them, but maybe it'll work for you too. When Aaron does some gestures. They have side effects. Peace sign equals balloons. Two thumbs up equals fireworks. Yeah. So I saw, uh, so I think that it might be, you have to have single screen, like a single person on screen. Um, but I, I heard someone talking about it. That, yeah, I don't think it works when we have two cameras. I'm not sure. We'll have okay. to, you have to try it out next time. You I do have a no singular. idea what any of this means. I'm it's sorry. It's like guys. there's finger, finger movements that you make and it pulls balloons across the screen and other things like that. Oh, if <laughs> I, I do this, it does it. Or I don't know. I don't it, know. It it, or it might just be that. <gasps> oh, there it is. Wow. Look at that. Let me try. Hold on. What did you do? I did my did thumbs up. Two thumbs up. That's two fingers, not two thumbs. Well, two fingers up. How Look. come? How come? Yeah, I see it. Hold on. Let me try on the other side. Well, there you go. Whatever I did it, I did it. Mine's Headley's broken. large truck. Headley's. Thank you for that super chat. Headley's. It's your favorite heavy goods vehicle here. Large truck. One thing I've always wondered, can someone subpoena a private investigator working for OSA? I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I'm, I'm really horrible at those questions. But I do know that... Um, I don't know. You know, I know one of the, the thing that I do know is Scientology always use this, uses the private investigator excuse that they're doing an investigation, like for a lawsuit. So what they'll do is they'll draw up a complaint, just a phony document, a, just a complaint. A lawyer will draw it up, an in-house Scientology lawyer. They'll draw up a complaint and then they'll hire the private investigators. They're not going to ever do anything with the complaint. They're never going to, there's never going to be a lawsuit, but they have all their ducks in a row. So if somebody asks to say, yeah, we were going to sue this person. And that's why we had a complaint drawn up and we hired a private investigator. And, and so they cover all their bases, but it's super creepy that they're spying on people that used to work there. So it's like, okay, I got it. You've covered all your bases, but you're still creepy cult for hunting down your ex members. Yep. So, you know, it's just like, okay. Diana B, thank you for the super chat. Um, wouldn't believe the stories if we didn't hear from you guys directly via YouTube. Yeah, you know, that's another thing is, um, thank you for that, Diana B. Um, when we do these shows, like we did that, we spent, let's say a day, a full entire day, we spent shooting that 60 Minutes Australia TV show. Yep. They came to our house. 
there were camera people and audio people and we we shot um in the house and we set up and we set up lights and we set up cameras and we went out here and we did this and we were on the front porch did you see us sneak in that sptv merch on the <laughs> on the show guys oh and, yeah <laughs> um we sit on the porch they do photos we went to another location to do the interview with um the 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 interviewer in the show and um all these things happened we spent an entire day that was a 60 i don't even know how long it was it wasn't even 60 minutes really um it's an hour program right i guess yeah, that's what the format that. is it's about an hour let's say let's say we spent 15 minutes of us they used in that maybe maybe yeah. a maximum maybe 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes of footage we made it into that show we shot for an entire day we said and told all kinds of stories yeah and they even did another video like they released a special video on youtube which is like an outtake a conversation we had because we talked about tom cruise if you talk about tom cruise and it doesn't make it into the show they're gonna make its own video just because it was tom cruise um i think it was about me falling asleep while he was doing the counseling on yeah me, something like go. that yeah but um at, at least at least the the stairs made it in my incline stairs oh that's right they went to the <laughs> incline we have a little thing where claire runs up 200 steps six times every morning um okay when i'm in the cage sleeping <laughs> up and down those stairs before i even get out of the cage anyway mm. but um she um they went with her to the incline and they shot that they had to, that cameraman poor cameraman and audio guy had to hike up the top of a mountain so they could shoot claire getting to the top of the mountain um but so 10 minutes made it into that thing and then they used another five or ten minutes or whatever for some other silly tom cruise video thing outtake but um so when we do these youtube videos and we go and we're on here for an hour um and we can just tell you what what happened exactly how it happened and then maybe claire was in another you know has it from a different uh viewpoint or different angle the same incident or a different incident that happened with her um we're just telling you what happened um when we do these tv shows when we say things that are like there's no way that that should be happening they can't show that on sometimes on tv we're telling them things and we're saying things and they're like oh no we we can't show that because we don't have a video of that happening or we didn't have but i mean we were both there we know it happened we remember yeah. um so so when we do these shows there's a day worth of footage being shot and it made 10 minutes made it into that show mm -hmm. so when we're on here with you guys for an hour you're getting the whole hour uncut unedited <laughs> straight from the source straight, straight from, from the, the source exactly <laughs> so um in all our glorious mistakes and everything yeah, else my hot lighting <laughs> jackson um yeah that's what you get you get yep. what you get you don't throw a fit yep, um sebastian right. elder says i think you should declare that you are both class eights on the bridge to total cracker looking oh no i'm like s sebastian thank you for that it's very generous um no we're like ot uh if there's like an ot 15 in scientology that's as high as you can get in scientology we're already at sp level 15 right now like if i don't do another video ever again and don't we don't sell another book i'm already at sp level 15 and i will release the sp levels at some point i'll write those up and release those we'll probably do a video that the sp levels we got to do that and we'll yeah. explain what the sp levels are but um, if you want to be a suppressive person, all you have to do is say one bad thing about Scientology on YouTube and you can be an SP tomorrow. That's SP level one. That's yeah. like, which that's by, entry. By the way, you reminded me of my favorite Jenna Miscavige story, which is that she was told when when she was leaving, she was like, well, I'm, I, I don't agree with the people you've made suppressive people. And they said, you know what? you can talk to any suppressives you want you just can't talk to mark and claire <laughs> yeah and you know what's really funny i have the uh, this was well, she told us that this happened at the time she told us you know they told me i could even talk to other sps but i could not talk to you two and mm -hmm. i thought oh that's funny i have the sp file that osa wrote where they told her that they wrote in there what they told her it's in the files that day when they met told her that and met with her it's in there yep so i can corroborate they did actually osa did really tell her that 
by because Osa wrote it up themselves that they told her that. Yep. And actually, the only reason I know that is because Jenna, I recently sent Jenna her SP files. So she um, has, she might have, she might be one of the um, ex Sea Org members that has the most files and the most detailed files because she was trying to leave the Sea Organization for months and months and months. And they were documenting every single little thing they did with her. And um, the reports were getting sent to David Miscavige. So Osa, and she's Jenna Miscavige. So if, if a Miscavige wants to leave the Sea Org, yeah, you bet your bippy that uh, Dave Miscavige is gonna uh, gonna be being briefed on it. So, um, so these documents were being uh, prepared and reports were being sent up on her on a regular basis, and they went to great lengths to jack with her scene when she was trying to leave and try to get her to divorce her husband at the time and trying to get him to divorce her and trying to get him to stay and telling. I mean, they did the same. They do the same thing with all couples, but they tell the they're telling them different things, but they they're separating them, so they can't be together. The couple, like she's being made to stay in one location, and he's being made to stay in another location, and then they're talking smack about them to each other, saying, "Oh, you're, well, he said this, and oh, she said this, and he said if you leave, then he's going to have to divorce you." And, he said, if she leaves, she, she's going to. And so then, but they both want to leave and they both want to stay together. And so they're trying to split them up in these documents. It's the craziest thing. Anyway, but um, Osa smells like poo, as uh, Denver Steve-O says. Um, mm -hmm. Question, do you think Osa giggle inside at the funny parts on here? Are they in offices near DM? No. David Miscavige, he actually openly um, talks smack about the Osa guys at the Imp base. He yep. talks trash about the Osa people all the time, how they're incompetent. Basically, anything that happens that's bad about Scientology, that's Osa's fault, that they didn't already um, jack up these people's lives enough that they've, they're even able to talk on YouTube. David Miscavige, um, everything, if he beats somebody up, if David Miscavige beats somebody up, and then that person 10 years later is on YouTube saying, David Miscavige beat me up. That's Osa's fault. Osa did not handle that SP. Mm -hmm. Osa is the reason that that person is able to do that. So anything that's happening bad in Scientology, that's all Osa. It's, it's C, the Sea Org in general are incompetent. And whoever worked with that person whoever audited that person, which I take great pleasure in the fact that um, <laughs> if you're in Scientology and you're an auditor and you're aud and the person that you're counseling, if that person turns into a suppressive, then you are essentially the worst auditor in the, in the world and the planet. Like, and if, if a person who was that guy, there was a guy at the ant base who audited Larry Wallersheim. Mm. Um, I think it's Fred Hare. I want oh, to yeah. say it's Could Fred, Fred Hare. Hare. Yep. Fred Hare was a Sea Org executive who audited. He was a counselor at one point or some sort of Scientology executive or, or, or counselor. And he ended up auditing somebody who then sued Scientology and is a major suppressive person. And that guy was given a crap about that. I mean, I heard him give him, I, I can't remember if it was Fred Hare, but I think it was. Is Fred Hare the guy that was in the events unit? There was Fred two Hare. guys. It no. was Fred Harris. Yeah. But then there, there was, was another guy. Was it Fred? Fred Hare? Fred Hare was or already Fred? gone, I think, by the time I got to the property. Mm. So I don't, I'm not too familiar with his. Mike would remember. But there was some guy I, that I'm had. Sure Jackson knows too. So. Oh, yeah, that's true. But there are people <laughs> that audited people that then turned into SPs. And David Miscavige would make fun of, of those people and and deride them on a continual basis that they were the one that created that SP. Oh yeah, well, totally. As some of you may or may not know, the person who audited me more than any other person in Scientology was Tom Cruise. So the fact that they think they've got a hate website up about me and they did all these other things, um, and they think they say I'm this big bad uh, suppressive person, guess what? Somebody made me, <laughs> and I think it was. I think I was. It was a. It was a mix. It was a mix between Tom Cruise and David Miscavige. Yep. So if you got somebody to look to Scientology, 
Um, those are David Miscavige was my boss and Tom Cruise was my auditor. D figure it out on your end. Okay. I don't know. Play the blame game all you want. Um, <laughs> see our tech discussions. Wow. That's an awesome handle. By right. the way, Claire and X Rathba never liked me and would do her best to invalidate me when she could invalidate. I don't, is that a Scientology word? That's a, just a regular word, right? Yeah, I think. And Scientology and validate is basically when you pick on somebody in Scientology, when you poke fun or you call out their down. shortcomings. Yeah, yeah you that's cut them invalidate. Down. You intentionally cut them down and make less of them. Um, um, yeah. Karma is a biatch and she now has a very nice job to carry. Well, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not well, under. I don't. She has a horrible job. She has to watch Shelly Miscavige full time, yeah. um, and th that's not a good job right now because everyone's looking for her. Yeah. Um, yeah. Somebody was asking me the other day. Do you think Shelly knows that the entire world is wondering where the heck she's at and why she hasn't been seen publicly? I'm like, I kind of doubt that Shelly knows that actually. But I yeah, really, I yeah. Anyway, I really doubt it. I don't think they would let. They would want her to know that in a million years. Nope. No, I think she must think something weird is happening. Well, no, because really, I mean, if an attorney went and met with her, I mean, if they actually did get somebody to meet with her, like if if the if the if a police officer, I don't I don't I'm not sure because there's been so many um, different stories on how this has happened. Yeah. And we don't really ever. It's always through a lawyer, like a Scientology lawyer that law enforcement is really meets with her. Right. But I mean, that's got to have also kind of tipped her off that something is happening if yeah. there's been some sort of like, hey, you need to do a statement or something. Right. Like, then she would get like she might even get a clue like, hmm, why would I do that? Like that would if there if if that actually did happen. Right. Where someone like an attorney said, hey, we just need to sit down and make a, an affidavit or something. Um, then. But they haven't released anything like that. So no, that, to they, me, they would... haven't. They uh, they've only released statements from her attorney, which yeah. you know is obviously a bunch of nonsense. The thing I learned recently in the course of the Where Shelley series that was really disturbing to me is to learn that um, when she was um, imprisoned at CST, she was not allowed to take her beagles with her. And, and that might say, sound like a, a nothing to most people, but her beagles, you know, her five beagles that she had, they're like her kids. Yeah. Well, she was banished without them. Yeah, well, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. You get, yeah, don't get well, your dogs. Okay. Ah. <laughs> You're the wife of a cult leader. It's going to be some... It's going to be some thorns on that road along the way somewhere. I know, but for anyone um, who's a dog lover, you feel the burn well, of that. I get that. So. I get yeah. Well, she's a she's in a cult. I know. I know. <laughs> she's a prisoner in her uh, in but her own there, cult, and whether no she knows question, it or not. <laughs> no, she knows without. That's the thing to me. When they shipped her off without her dogs, that's the strong. That's where she would know. I am a prisoner. I have no say here. I have yeah. no choices that yeah. that's it. That would communicate that to her unquestionably. Yeah. I'm pretty anyway. sure when she went to that, when she went to Barney's funeral, she was already like, that's it. I'm done. Yeah, no, I know. So, I know. okay. Stephanie says, Claire, I want to say for putting out such amazing interviews the past two weeks, I was unexpectedly hospitalized for 11 days. Your videos really helped pass the time in a really awful situation. Well, that, wow. Wow, Stephanie. Well, get better. Thanks for watching. I'm glad we could provide something to help. Get better. <laughs> yeah, hospital's not a fun place. John Satowski, no. Captain Little Boss Baby Davy Dirty Poopy Pants. Um, <laughs> I think that one. is. I think that is in relation. You know what? We should r write that down. Somebody screenshot this. That's it. <laughs> That might be the name right there. And if you want to call him something else, you can call him something else. Yeah. But Captain Little Boss Baby Davy Dirty Poopy Pants. Um, I think any variation of that would be fine with me as well, in case there's a way to kind of tidy that up a little bit. But Captain Little Boss Baby Davy Dirty Poopy Pants sounds pretty good. Um, just wait till you see this thing, guys. I might have shown it <laughs> like a little sneak preview. Have I shown it at all in a video? I think we did. Yeah, um, we showed anyway, it before when we, we gave get it them, away. 
And by the way, if you have an SPTV channel and you want one of these Captain Little Boss Baby Davy Dirty Poopy Pants, then the hole. <laughs> um, get a hold of Claire and get her your address. And when we get them, we're going to send them to all the SPTV channels um, because they're they're you know they're getting the they'll, word they'll out. They'll make for great giveaways. Yeah, and <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe we'll send them. We'll we'll definitely do them as giveaways here. But we're going to send them to all the different channels so they know. Um, the aftermath is alive and well, and we are doing the job and, um, we're still, you know, we did that fundraiser for surge. Um, we still are getting donations and we've got a lot of, um, donations in from the mail, um, the YouTube, um, fundraiser that we did. And so all those things are still going and, um, and it's great. I named him troll in the hole. I will buy one. Andrew Humphrey. Thank you. There Andrew. you go. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, Apple box elf, Anata on on Hada on fire says Apple box elf. Um, that's a good one too. I like yeah. all of them. Look at so, Sheila. Sheila did a super chat. Pick me, please pick me, pick nice. me, pick me. Um, Sheila, thank you for doing a super chat, but that is just a free pick me. You don't, um, you don't have to pay for pick me's. We just pick whatever one we pick. Um, I'm sorry that you did a super chat for that, but thank you very much for the super chat. Yeah. What are we gonna my, say, my only revision on troll in the hole, it has to be troll of the hole because he's not in the hole. He puts people in the hole. It's it's a minor. It's yeah, that's true. It's a matter of preposition, but it's an important distinction. Yeah. Stacy, why? Thank you, Stacy. Stacy is a very frequent flyer. Oh, I've missed Stacey's seeing you amazing. both, but fortunately have many other channels to keep watching. Give you all the time, more behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. See, that's the other great thing about having other people to start up channels is that if you uh, don't see me here for a little while, there is a ton of other people cranking out videos. And, um, and I like, I watch, I tune into these other channels. I don't always jump in the comments. But um, if I'm there and they're doing the video and I and I'm not doing something else, then I'll uh, I'll chime in. Oh, I cannot wait. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for somebody to comment. Pat Shields, thank you. You are so generous. <laughs> Mark, nice that you are back. Hey, from where where is she coming from, Claire? Come where's she coming? Where's she? Mean. Where mean. where You're is being Pat? Mean, honey. Where Stop is, it. Where's Pat? Where's Pat? Where's Pat writing from today? I was watching. I don't even remember where I was. I was in some some far flung part of the world. I'm watching a video. You were in Boston. I was in. OK, I was in Boston. Thanks, Claire. That was me not saying where I was. And that was Claire saying exactly where I was. I'm not um, good at anyway, filtering. I'm watching a video. I can't remember. I was doing something else. I was answering some emails or whatever. And she said, Sash catch you in. And I no, went. No, I didn't. I went I says catch it no says says catch chewin says catch chewin and know I was what like says catch chewin I was like I know we didn't go to school I got that that's a that's I get that but says catch chewin says catch chewin I was like it's Saskatchewan everyone knows that that's not a weird thing Saskatchewan Just so you know. I could argue that there's many things that are said in many different ways all over the world. Okay, yes. so I've said things one way for 13 years of my life in England, and now I say them a different way. But no so one was saying <laughs> Saskatchewan. No one was saying Saskatchewan. I didn't say that. I said oh, Saskatchewan. <laughs> Saskatchewan. Oh my God. The best part is that Amy just let it roll. Amy just let <laughs> no, it roll. You, no, she didn't. Her eyes kind of well, widened no, a little bit. I, no, no, no. And, and she, I was like, oh boy. But, but she didn't say, she didn't just say, like, if you say it, I'm going to say, <laughs> that's not how you say that. No, no. You guys just kept going. And then she kind of, she made a little face, but I was in the comments right then. I was like, oh my God, please somebody tell her. <laughs> That she has no idea how to say that word. Anyway, yeah. thank you for that. I appreciate that comment. I was, and I told Claire too. I said, the next time I do a video, we're talking about Saskatchewan. That's happening. <laughs> um, and then I totally forgot about it. So thank you for bringing that comment. Uh, that was the super thank chat of the night. Thank you so, so much. I so appreciate that. Uh, Clearwater Chad, uh, hi from Clearwater Buffalo. Thank you, Clearwater Chad. You're too kind. Abita, when are the wedding pics going to be aired? 
I have been asking the same question. I've asked three different occasions when these wedding pics are going to get aired. And um, I've got a video to convert. I'm going to do my part. And then once that's done, it's all over to uh, the ginger here. If uh, That's all we're waiting for, honey, oh, is see, that now. video conversion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Denver Stevo, speak of the devil. Hey, Mark, welcome back to the real world. Greetings from Northeastern Westerly Pooh Broad, Colorado. Um, <laughs> yes, thank you for that, Denver Stevo. Um, I have um, I have been watching um, in the past few weeks. I have been kind of tuning in to different channels, and I was watching um, I was watching lives that Denver Steve-O was doing, um, and he and it was him, Marilyn, Clearwater Chad. Um, there's been different other people at different times, um, but um, I definitely was um, having fun watching some of these other SPD. TV channels and some of their other videos. And, um, and every once in a while I would comment and, um, but for most of the time I just lurk in there and I kind of just see what they're, see what they're up to. Um, I just un, um, starred purple net. If you can find that one I had, I don't know oh. where it was. I don't even remember. It was before six Oh seven PM. It's was purple. It a, a net. super chat or I think a regular it was. Okay. purple net is okay. the username. Catherine Olson. Love you guys. Thank you, Yay, Catherine. Catherine. Good um, to see you here. Sarita Fisher. Thank you for the super sticker. Appreciate it. Lafanda Grocklinger says, hi from Germany once again. Love to see you together. Yes, thank you, Lafanda. We appreciate the super chat. Um, Julie Blutstein. Um, been a fan for years since the book came out. Thank you, Julie. Appreciate it. Um, Ola. Ola Straz oh that's I'm just you know <laughs> Strazalkowska Saskatchewan I can do but uh, I don't know about Strzok this one Strazalkowska that's my my take on that okay Ola I say Ola works pretty good to me um <laughs> thank you for all you do making the world a better place well I hope so I don't know for I mean when we uh if we get any uh thing done with uh with our uh our friends over there that we used to work for i'm going to say more about this publicly but in the meantime we'll give you a thank you for the birthday fundraiser i was utterly stunned and flattered wow Yay. it was well, goldie's nice. birthday we did a um uh pete jensen who is yeah. a pillar He's, of SPTV. He did a GoFundMe and then we sent her a present separate or a, a nice thing separate to that too. Nice. Well, that's really yeah. nice. You know, Pete, I think Pete is the one who did the very first MTV um, intro, SPTV intro that I really loved. Yes. Um, that's right. The uh, money for nothing. Um, yep. Kimberly Stovall says dying for more spy files. Yeah, we're going to do the spy files for sure. We're going to keep going on that. I just been really, um, I just, when I found all those other documents that weren't about us and I was just like, these, I just, I, the, these need to get out to people. I can't just keep them for myself. So, um, I spent, I spent many, many weeks and many days and hours trying to, um, distribute those. So thank you, Kimberly. We'll get, we'll definitely get those. Tamara says super sticker. Oh, thank you, Tamara. Thank you. Appreciate I it. marked Bill that purple net one that you wanted, by the way. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Billy Bob <laughs> one, two, three. See? That's all so, you had to do. That's so all you had to do. I Billy think Bob, I one, know two, three. who this is, by the way. So no, I just said it much. earlier in the video. I said if you want to, if you're a Scientologist and you want to get on here, just make a username Billy Bob one two three, and Billy Bob one two three shows up. So <laughs> you're welcome. Happy anniversary. Yes, thank Yay, you. We, thank we did you so recently much. celebrate thirty one years. This last actually is this last week. This yep. week. We're celebrating um, on Saturday night because Mark was out of town. So that's yay. Right. Yay. That's a tomorrow super sticker. I showed you that one. Thank you. And then I showed that other one. Blackmail. Okay. Osa, then. Can I sell the blackmail name? Everyone gets weird reading the name. Um it's okay, blackmail. <laughs> I mean, there was somebody on here called Snot Face earlier. I mean, it's <laughs> you, can, you know it's a free it's, world. It's not a unless lot you're in Scientology. <laughs> it's not a lot of judging going on in the comments from our end. I mean uh, if you want to call yourself snot face, that's better than uh, Scientologist 787. Um, Rosemary, thank you. Based on Leah's lawsuit, do you think the COS will stop producing hate websites and other harassing towards her? You know, it's really, that's a really good question, Rosemary. Um, I don't know, because 
it's a weird, they've got themselves in a weird situation right now. They're obviously doing what they're doing and it's all been documented. So if she sues them and they stop, then that makes them look like, um, like a little bitch. And, uh, <laughs> so I was wondering uh, what was coming there. I was like, wait for it. Wait I don't for know. It. It's no other, it's no other way to say it, but, um, so it's one of those damned if you do damned, if you don't, Yeah. if they take it down, then they admit that it was a bunch of nonsense, which we all know it is. So yeah. it's going to set a precedent, which only time will tell what happens, but that that's a great question. It is a great question and mm -hmm. we shall see, but, um, I don't think they have. I think they're still attacking her on X and they're still putting horrible posts up on Facebook or, or the internet or wherever they put that stuff. I don't, I'm not really a consumer of that nonsense. So every once in a while I'll see um, somebody shares or somebody's interacting with them on X. And then that's where I see like, oh, they're, they're still going hard on the, on the, uh, in the, on the pavement on uh, Leah and even though the lawsuit's happening, I mean, it's sort of, yeah, it's if, one of those if things. anything, it's actually a barometer to me of how much, uh, what we're doing is something they're reacting to. Because for example, in February, when we started doing more, putting out regular content, the, uh, lines that they started, the attack lines they started using were so became so much more vicious. And we were like, okay, pat on the back. Let's keep on going. You're muted. You're muted. If you ain't got a hate site, you ain't doing it right. <laughs> um, yep. yeah. When you start, when you get a hate site, it's like, okay, now we're making some, uh, now we're making some progress. They, they know we're here. We're on yep. the radar. Yep. Um, so yeah, good question, Rosemary. I don't know. We will keep you posted. I was 67 yesterday and I'm proud I survived this long. Okay. Nice. Happy birthday. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, that's, um, that is amazing. I'm, you know, I'm, I just turned 50. I'm surprised I made it this long. I'm, I'm happy I made it this long. <laughs> um, I had some hard, there was some hard years on this pod. Um, Nancy Eves. Claire, your episode on cults to consciousness were epic. So much I didn't know about you despite all the hours of watching you both. Love you too, Mark. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you, Nancy. Appreciate it. I muted myself before because I was uh I was burping behind the scenes here without you uh, without <laughs> anybody TMI. hearing it. And uh and then um and then I just burped with the mic on. So it's just like whatever, you know. Um thank you for that, Nancy. Yes, yeah, thank we... you, Nancy. Thanks for watching. When we do these other channels, that is true. That is another good reason that sometimes we do these other channels is because they'll ask us questions that no one's ever asked us before. So we might, you might find out something that you don't, you didn't know from watching our channel. So, um, and then if you, so yeah, we'll tune in. We'll tell you what, what other videos or what other channels we do on other channels. Michael for the super chat. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank um, you. I don't see that uh, one you, um, up. Uh, Purple net. There it is. Yeah. See, I you told you. Thank you. Um, purple net. Thank you. I lost your super chat. It was gone forever, but Claire found it. My hey. neighbor said there was a Scientology <laughs> office in Jacksonville, Florida. Have you heard if there was one here? Love you guys. I've never heard of that. There might be, they sometimes have these things called missions, which is just like anyone can start a mission. You just have to buy a certain amount of books and materials and it's like, it's called, it's actually called a mission starter package and it's not cheap. It's like, I think I want to say it's like $150,000 and you buy all these books and you buy all these materials and, um, then you can start a mission and you can start it in your living room. If you want, it can be at your house and you can just put a sign up on the door or a little, a little lawn sign that says Scientology of podunk nowhere. And then people can just come to your house and Timbuktu and, and read Scientology books. And then that's a mission. So they could have something in Jacksonville. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't worry. I don't think they're getting people in Jacksonville. Um, you need, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. I don't think Jacksonville is their biggest, um, their biggest <laughs> place. They're going to scoop people up for um, Scientology space cadet Brett. Claire, is there a working title for your book or is it a secret? It's definitely a secret. Don't let her tell you what it is because then Aww. Osa will make a book 
that calls themselves that thing. Wait, actually, do we already have, well, we already have the ISBN. Did you already register the ISBN? No, but I can do that before our 40K party and we could announce the two working titles that I have and we can get input. That would Let's be do fun. That. Let's do yeah. that before yeah. OSA has a chance to, to make a book by the name of Good for book. us that I know how to do all of that. And I've even pre-registered and done all kinds of stuff. So we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We will. Space Cadet Brett, tune in. Stay tuned. Yes, Most there you likely go. Sunday. Yep. CC's Comfort Cooking. Boom. Now, if, for those of house. you who do not know, CC's <laughs> Comfort Cooking is um, a very, very good friend of ours. And Claire did a video with her on the channel, one of the Scientology stories, Cindy Plahuda. If you haven't heard her story, go to the Scientology Stories playlist and look for Cindy. Um, she has a YouTube channel, and it is a cooking channel. And I'm. did she do our famous beans recipe yet? She did. So she you, absolutely did. These, this is a family, uh, a Headley family secret beans recipe that we stole from another family and then <laughs> modified. So and it's been in the family for decades, just not our family. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. We, st we had this recipe at a good friend of ours house. And then I was like, oh, we're definitely taking that. And we're yeah. going to. We're gonna we're gonna mix that one, do a remix on that one, and make it amazing. And it was already yes. it was already really good, but we turned it up a notch. We made so, it next level. Yeah. If you're into baked beans, you got to get this recipe. Even if you're not into baked beans, I'm not that into beans. Me neither. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah. I yeah. never like baked beans. These are beans. really really good. I don't even think. I don't even think I ate baked beans for more than a bite or two before I had the baked beans that we had at our friend's house. Yeah. And now I've eaten bowls and bowls and probably buckets of beans by now. <laughs> um, so if you haven't, we got to put a link, make a note. Yep. CC's comfort cooking. We're going to, not only we're going to put a link to her channel in the description, but we're going to put a link to that bean video in the description, yep. the family beans recipe. And, and if you are a true watcher of this channel and you can eat beans, and the other rest and the other ingredients of this, you got to make yourself these beans. They're amazing. Yep. You know what? Yep. Actually, and she is going to be doing our Yorkshire pudding soon. I'm going to make those beans tonight. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great. I'm going to make those by beans that, tonight. By that he means yours truly is. No, nope. I already made the bacon. Make them? Okay, that's. I already true. made the bacon. The, the, the bacon is for sandwiches. I thought. Well, some of it's going to be for beans now. How about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, anyway, we'll goodness. put that in the description. Cece's Comfort Cooking. Get over there. Hit her. Hit subscribe on her channel. Yes. Um, she's trying. Uh, she's trying her way on YouTube. And she, to be fair, um, Sydney has cooked. Um, we used to do Easter at her house, and we've had dinner at her house, and we've had get-togethers and all sorts of parties and all. And this woman has cooked some amazing, amazing recipes. Yep. And I was the one who told her. I was like, you know, you should do a channel. I mean. You're already doing the work of doing the cooking. You might as well just shoot it and then, you know, somebody else can make the recipes. Uh, Japan of Green Gables says that if you make beans, you're going to have to stay in the basement. <laughs> Things are going to get oh. gassy. <laughs> they um, sure Purple are. Purple Net says Claire's my favorite. Oh, Claire's the one who's making me stay you. in the basement. Purple I'm Net. not. You um, chose the basement yeah, and you're anyway. perfectly capable of walking up the stairs, honey. <laughs> Let's not Palo. make this something other than it is. <laughs> oh, Ms. Polo, that's who gave us these. Yeah, that's what okay. I'm saying. I'm, I'm okay. pulling up her comment. She nice. says, in, in re COS behavior post, Leah suit, as my pappy would say, they can't fuck up a soup sandwich. Oh, they can fuck up a soup sandwich. Absolutely. Yeah. They, that's the thing about Scientology is Dave Miscavige lives in this really odd I was watching another channel. I can't remember which one it is right now. Um, I wish I could remember, but he's essentially, Dave Miscavige lives in a bubble and in that bubble, he has a feedback loop where no one tells him no. So when he does one, he's like, you know what? Give me some paper or take a note. And he will dictate that letter that they wrote that response to her lawsuit. He dictated that, or he might've <laughs> even have dictated yeah. it not even have... not even Corinne Powell wanted to sign that one. They were just like, leave it off, please. This is an abomination. 
Yeah, but he dictated that or he of said, course. this is what we're going to yeah. say. And he just read it. And then they probably workshopped that for a while. Like mm -hmm. they, he was probably like, what do you think? What do you think? And they were like, well, sir, we should mention the fact that she is uh, she's ridiculous. That's right. Uh, ridiculous. Put that in there. Ridiculous. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. Uh, desperate. Desperate. Yeah, desperate. She's desperate. Put that in there. Desperate. And then um, and they workshop that thing. You think like when you read that response, Scientology's official response to her lawsuit, you think that's got to be the worst thing. Like. Oh my gosh, why would just, they write Just that? when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Yeah, One like, of these days we do have to do that Osa reenactment we were talking totally. about. Like how they come up with these just outrageous, it's wacky David. responses. It's, it's just insanity. All, it's all Dave Miscavige. Yep. And so if he writes that thing and he workshops it and he's like, oh, tell me this. And he's got people around him. Yes, sir. That's great. We love it. We love it. And then um, that's it. It's going out just like that. So and my, my favorite part is the call that comes after the letter goes out. Tom Cruise to Dave Miscavige. Yeah. Hey, Dave, did you see this piece of shit they put out? Yes. Can you believe it? He's like, what? And he'll pretend like he Osa. had nothing. He's like, and to Osa's do with so it. incompetent. <laughs> yeah. Osa's so incompetent. <laughs> they're, so they're going yeah. to the RPF. <laughs> That's if you guys haven't heard this story, it's exactly clear. What say Claire's saying is exactly true. Yeah. David Miscavige micromanaged every single possible step of the blockbuster film battlefield earth starring john travolta he you micromanaged block basement right block he <laughs> managed block raspberry award-winning <laughs> battlefield earth mm -hmm. um he micromanaged every single step of that movie john travolta was a bit player at best in the production of that movie the production company that John Travolta was part of um, that invested money and, and, and eventually went bankrupt due to that movie um, had very little say in what happened to that movie. David Miscavige was the was the basically the battlefield earth czar. He dictated every single part of that movie. And when it was done, he said this to the Sea Org members at the international base. Maybe possibly the best movie ever made. That's what David Miscavige said of Battlefield Earth. Now, if you haven't seen Battlefield Earth, it's definitely don't, not. Don't. <laughs> it is definitely not the best movie ever made. It is arguably the most amazingly horrible movie ever made. And if you watch it, you should watch it for free somewhere because it's amazingly horrible. But when Tom Cruise saw the movie and then called Dave and said, Dave, what the hell with this battlefield earth and dave with uh, with in a second without missing a beat said i know john travolta that out ethics and he did um he said c sucker that out ethics c sucker and he blamed he threw john travolta right under the bus he was driving the bus he bought the bus. He designed the bus. He drove it right over John Travolta, he who just practiced. was like, he did target practice beforehand. That's how much he. Did. Anyway, <laughs> just so, so bad. yes, uh, very good, Miss Pillow. You yes. absolutely captured it. Um, the other one is they couldn't um, they couldn't pour piss out of a, uh, a boot if the directions were on the heel. I think that's the <laughs> other saying. Other saying. Oh, um, I haven't heard that one. That's a good yes. one. I like that. Yes. Um, okay. Destiny Salazar. You both are such a great example of how to stand tall. See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> In the face of absolutely absurd gaslighting and abuse, you are here. Thank you for everything. You keep fighting. Thank you, Destiny. We appreciate it. Um, we're not, um, you know, Claire does have X-Men superpowers. I don't think, um, I mean, she can run up a hill. Seriously. Well, you um, have your own superpowers. Huh? Oh, they Pat just Shield. They just, they Pat just Shield. Don't include running up Pat a hill. Shield's new. She said she teed that one up. She said, <laughs> "So sorry, Claire." That was the that was the um, the viewer from Saskatchewan. I know, I know, I remember. Thanks, Pat. It's okay. <laughs> I forgive you. I, I, you know, I've got broad shoulders. I can be laughed at, and I can laugh at myself too. It's perfectly fine with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Here's one from Clearwater Chad. Um, oh, anyone that wants to start an SPTV channel can dip their toes in on my pre-show every Monday. Nice. Yeah, exactly. There, there's a lot of channels that you can just go on and cut your teeth on those channels and see how they do it. And and a lot of the channels are sharing tips and trip uh, tips, tips and tricks, tips and tricks. That's the one. 
Um, I knew the my brain knew the words, but my mouth didn't want to play. Um, yeah. Hannah, I'm I'm trying to get Hannah Eltringham Whitfield to join SPTV Nation. She's definitely going to be an amazing addition. She does great interviews. She's so she well really spoken, does. and she also I don't know how she. I mean, I remember a lot of stuff from the 80s and the 90s and the 2000s, but she's she's recounting stories from the 50s and 60s in some right. of these videos that Claire's done with her. And she's talking about, they went here and then L. Ron Hubbard said this, and then we had to go here and then we did that. And you know, that it it's a great, I, I thought, I don't know what it is, but in the Sea Org, everything has to be so detailed oriented and you're gonna get in trouble no matter which way you do it. So you really have to think a lot about what you do and what you say and who you say it to and who's there. And so oddly enough, in most of the times where these crazy stories happen, you remember everything that's happening around you and who was there and what was said, because there's almost like a forensic investigation that happens in some of these things. And they're asking you, okay, what did you say? Okay, good, then what did you say? Okay, <laughs> who, who was the one that was talking about COB? And then who was this? And who said that? And who said this? And then you get sec checked after that, and then you have to say it all over again. So a lot of these things, we've been over it many, many times. So mm -hmm. we know what happened. <laughs> Pamela Chambers, I think a bunch of your subscribers should send Davey custom onesies with sayings like Xenu is my homeboy or Osa smells like poo. Oh no, just wearing them is good enough because I guarantee you, David Miscavige snuck out to the movies. He sneaks out to the movies in Clearwater and he goes to restaurants. He goes places under yep. the radar and that somebody's kind of scoped out beforehand. And, you know, he's hanging out with Tom Cruise, doing stuff with Tom, going to football games in England and, you know, going to, snowmobiling in Alaska. He's doing stuff. He goes out. He's not always locked up in his little bunker in Florida. But um, when he goes out and he sees somebody wearing a Xenu is my homeboy hoodie, um, if you want to see a tantrum, that's when a tantrum is going to happen. When he gets back to the Sea Org uh, base, wherever he's at, <laughs> and he's like, they're selling, they're selling hoodies over there on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, no one's going to tell him that. If he sees one, oh boy, is he gonna find out. Um, mm -hmm. Alex Jackson, many years ago, I was an extra in a documentary called The History of Education. Uh, director and nearly all crew were Scientologists. Do you know anything about it? Um, it was actually called, Alex, it was called The History of Man or the it was called Man the Unfathomable. Hmm. Um, and maybe there was a, maybe they did one. You say many years ago, you have to say a date. When I was there, um, we changed the names of all of the films we were doing to stupid things like the history of education or whatever. And then it was really called Man the Unfathomable or oh, I didn't know Problems that. of Life. Oh, yeah. We didn't use the real name in the permits oh, and in all the things because wow, people would be sneaky. like, you can't, that, because the names were ridiculous. You could never put that out. People would be, Man the Unfathomable? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, um, yeah. So, but we called them other things and then. Use of so, a doll in auditing and TR. Exactly. You can't make that <laughs> the name of for the casting call. People are like, use of a doll? What are you yeah. guys doing over there? That's and you super also, bizarre. And you also don't want professional actors to know what nonsense they were performing in, right? You're muted again. Sorry, I was drinking. Sorry, Alex. Oh, yeah. If if you could say when and what, write to the blown, go on to blown for good contact page and send us a, a thing. If if you know the date and where you went, I can tell you if it was me and my crew or it, which crew it was or uh, which crew it likely was if it was after my time. Yeah. Um, thanks for that, though. Yeah, I, we shot a many a thing. Um, we shot a lot at the at this um, abandoned or not abandoned. It was a decommissioned um, Air Force Base in uh, California. It was Norton Air Force Base. It's now actually called uh, Ontario International Airport, but it used to be an Air Force Base. And right after the Air Force decommissioned it, they donated part of it to an Indian reservation. And Scientology rented a portion of the base that had this giant bunker in it um, from the reservation. And uh, we shot movies in it. And we did that yes. for many, many years. 
Yeah. Speaking of which, we've got to get something on the calendar of you and Mitch comparing uh, creation of cult movie stories. That will be fun. Oh yeah. I want to just do every movie we shot with Mitch. Just make one video for each. Oh, that'll be me, brilliant. For each movie and just tell all our crazy stories from that like movie. Like a making of, a making of yeah. review. That would be so awesome. Yes. And we did about 30 films together. So we've got lots of stories. Lots of content. Each one of those <laughs> took either a month to three to four to five and. Included were, several trips to being restricted to the base and physical yeah. abuse and sleeping all above a hallway or under my desk or somewhere behind yep. a set yep. evelyn thank you for the super chat um i'm trying to um, rip through the rest of these um questions and super chats free xenu project you have to see battlefield earth riff tracks that is absolutely something just go to youtube and say battlefield earth riff tracks and it is pretty much um if you've seen the movie it's funny but if you haven't it's still funny um, but yes, Rift Tracks is uh, hilarious. I think DM, DM, David Miscavige, may have lost his calling in a slaps, in slapstick movies. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, he missed his calling. <laughs> he missed his calling for sure. They probably just didn't even see him. They were calling his name, and he was just so small. They just didn't see him. He was right it, there. Him the and time. Marty would have made a great Laurel and Hardy. They really would have. Jim's, uh, J.M. <laughs> Stevens, too, says, I'm still catching up. What about little Captain Davy Troll of the board? Hi, Osa. Um, that's great as well. All suggestions are welcomed. Yep. Michael Oldham says, crazy videos from Reese on Aaron's channel recording Scientologists pumping him for info before they kicked her out. Yeah, that's another thing. This is he's he's bringing up a great point. So Michael Oldham, I think he's referring to. So there's a gal. Um, there's a woman on Aaron's channel that she was calling him and giving him info about people that were in Scientology. Yeah, and, and, Aaron she, and she has her own channel now, Reese, Relatable Reese, Reese Quibble. Exactly. Well, she, yeah. well, Aaron was showing something on his phone. Somehow he either showed something on his phone or he pulled something up and her name was in his phone as somebody he had talked to. And it just flashed for a second. Yep. And But they knew now this Reese person was somebody that was talking to him and they Scientologists, I don't know why Scientologists don't understand how the world world works, but Scientologists have been calling her and talking to her for hours on end, admitting to all these things that Reese is talking about, about assaults that are happening and just illegal activities. They're talking about it and corroborating it and admitting that it happened in phone calls with her. Now she lives in a one party state. So she can record phone calls all day long. Scientol the Scientologist does not. So if they're recording the call, which most likely, if OSA's involved and there's a Scientologist involved, they're most likely recording the call. But she did record it and now they're just playing them in on YouTube and they're just going through the whole entire conversation, multiple conversations. So Scientologists are, and Reese also was another one of these people. She didn't want anything to do with Scientology. So when they told her she was getting declared, it was almost like, okay, like, yeah, what they do? And I mean, I don't think, I mean, I don't, I, I, I'm sure it, it might not have been the most convenient thing in her life to happen, but she's sort of like, I'm done. I don't care about Scientology. And, and, and her old, this person that's calling her from Scientology is like, well, we've got to figure out how we're going to handle this and how we're going to solve this. And she's like, it's solved. I don't want anything to do with you guys. <laughs> I'm good. And they're trying to figure out just keeping her talking. And meanwhile, the person's just, Reese is just laying the rope out and they're just stringing themselves up. Full -time. <laughs> Reese is getting the last laugh. That's for darn sure. Way yeah. to go, Reese. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Apostate Alex says, order merch. 15 random people get a free AF t-shirt. What? What's he talking I'm, about? I'm not On sure. On his channel? Okay. I'm, I'm not sure what he, I think we missed some context, Alex. So yeah. maybe you can fill us in on what this yeah. is about. Hopefully everyone knows Alex what Alex is giving about. away merch over on his channel. <laughs> get over there if you want something. <laughs> Um, BGFC, did DM live off 45 a week before LRH died? I'm wondering if his personality was different when he was not superior to every other secret member. You know, that's funny. No, he, as soon as, um, David Miscavige sort of had some power, um, he actually, before he was chairman of the board RTC, he was chairman of the board ASI, 
and that's Authored Ser Author Services, which is the company that uh, manages L. Ron Hubbard's money and all his books and uh, royalties and all that sort of stuff. And David Miscavige lost $30 million of L. Ron Hubbard's money. Oops. $30 million. He basically donated it to um, an oil well scam. He, he bought, he bought, I guess, a whole bunch of oil wells in like Oklahoma or something like that that did not exist. And the $30 million was just poof, gone. And yep. what David Miscavige did was he got this, um, he got this idea to have uh, this artist, I think his name was um, Frank Frazetta. He's a popular science fiction artist, very um, like uh, space opera, space opera, uh, you know, basically soft core images that he would paint for science fiction. I'm, I'm, I'm telling it like it is here, folks. And, um, <laughs> and um, they did a bunch of limited edition prints of these Frank Frazetta things, and they charged ten, five, fifteen thousand dollars for these paintings. And then they did leather bound editions of Battlefield Earth and leather leather bound editions of Mission Earth, and um, and they sold them, and they they basically got back that thirty million and put it back in the account so that El if L. Ron Hubbard went back and looked, he would see that that 30 million was still there. So they did a they did a, a lot of work to put that money back before LRH noticed that there was $30 million missing. Yep, oopsie. Oh, by the way, I started a comment from Apostate Alex that explains okay. his, um, there you go. Apostate perfect. Alex says, I will donate $2, $200 towards Aftermath promo t-shirts given as random free gifts to people who order on Blown for Good, Apostate Alex, and SP Shop in the next 24 hours. First come, first serve, 15 t-shirts total. Nice. Okay. That's awesome. awesome. So the next 15 people that order on his or ours or SP Shop, they'll get a Aftermath promo shirt. That's cool. Thanks, Apostate Alex. We appreciate okay. it. Well, how are we going to give away Aftermath promo t-shirts? Well, I think he's saying that he'll provide the Aftermath promo shirts. Oh. Does he have Ath Aftermath promo shirts? He said earlier that he would be more than happy to make some. So. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we'll gonna, figure out the details we'll on the, Alex. Uh, uh, behind the scenes. I'm not exactly no sure how. Um, I mean, thank you, Alex. We appreciate all the support. But yes. um, yeah, we can do it before the show as well. We can work out some of these things. We don't have to do it mid-show. <laughs> um, Alex picky. says, documentary was something else. So sneaky. My scene was in South LA at a school. It was full school shooting. I died in it. I'll write you. Wow. Wow. So yeah, that was definitely after I left. And that's absolutely something Scientology does. Something that Scientology loves to do is they take whatever is happening in the zeitgeist and they try to capture it and make it into something that's going to benefit Scientology. So of course they're now doing a, they're doing school shooting videos to show how their form of education is going to work. And, um, yeah, I think Liz Gale would would um, would be able to tell you some stories of how their Scientology education went and how it didn't work out totally for their family the way Scientology said it would work out. Yep. Kimberly Stovall says, watched CeCe's video of the beans while watching this live. Now I want beans. Kimberly, wow. now I want beans. Okay. A <laughs> way to multitask um, too, yeah. by the way. V Vincent Giggles. Uh, Mark, do you have an... And I, an I, I, eidetic, eidetic memory. Also, happy anniversary. Love seeing you both on lives. I don't know what eidetic means because I didn't go to school, but I do have a sort of a, a photographic memory of sorts. If I have seen somebody in person or in a movie or in any sort of function and I see that person again, it doesn't matter when or what they look like. It's weird. Claire can attest to this. It is yeah, very I, I did freaky. It, just so you don't have a misunderstood word, honey. Oh, yeah. I don't want to go past one term. of those. <laughs> that means relating to or denoting mental images having unusual vividness and detail as yes. if actually visible. Yes, I do have that. Thank you. I thought it was photographic <laughs> memory, but I guess I got that too. I've got GPS. <laughs> I've got identic. I've got photograph. All of that. Just, I don't know facial recognition say. software facial recognition built in <laughs> um okay does jenna have more subscribers with no content on youtube than davy has supporters 
Um, I Absolutely. really think she does. She no question. Definitely questions. does. Thank you, Duchess <laughs> Diana. That is a very she's, good point. She's she's winning the Miscavige family game at this point in a major way. Uh, Julie, her old boss. Another saying from her old boss. Uh, my old boss used to say, "You're no one, darling, until you have it. You're no one, darling. You're no oh, one, darling, until, until you, you have, have enemies. enemies." Yes, that's exactly. In the COS world, you are definitely someone. That's exactly right. Um, um, if you don't have a hates. If you don't have a hate site, you ain't doing it right. Um, yeah, I heard that they were, while I was on my sabbatical of sorts, you can, we can call it, uh, in my prison, uh, my cage, um, I heard that there was some drama. Straight, or they're not going to believe you, there just was, so you know. There was some drama going on with people attacking the new um, SPTV channels. That's 100% OSA. That's a total mm -hmm. OSA op. And if it's not OSA, why would you do it? There's no real reason for someone who's not OSA to attack an SPTV channel, like especially yeah. a new, a new, like a new person that doesn't really have a dog in this fight. They just want to be part of the gang and have a channel and do fun videos and stuff like that. And then OSA starts attacking them. Yeah, that's 100% um, OSA. So if the people yeah, that if we've, it, if and it looks like OSA, acts like OSA, does the work of OSA, whatever, who cares? Move along, yeah. folks. Let's stay focused and on target. Yeah. Um, so Denver Stevo says, OSA smells like poo hoodies out now. Xenu is my Headley. Oh. Headley stuff soon at my place. Caught Dom. I don't know okay. what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, you know, the, this is what happens. These, the comments, FYI, great couples remember two plus our new one, Jeff and Reese Cubell. Nice. Oh. There oh. you go. Oh, I didn't know there's a Jeff that's yeah, part of the Reese. Yeah, Reese is married to Jeff. And he's doing the channel too? I'm not, so I, I'm not totally up on okay. all the latest but Either i way. think i think he's been on there sometimes but i don't think he was ever in scientology which is awesome hats off to jeff because it takes a special person to stick through all this nonsense yeah um galiha sinatra i just want to hear mark try to pronounce my name um, nice Gale thank Gale you i feel i what feel I vindicated galiha sinatra doesn't matter you're stupid. okay. <laughs> you're just... I just want to hear tr Mark try to pronounce my name. <laughs> well, I did it twice. So hopefully, I did it right. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, Saskatchewan. Come on. That's just <laughs> Saskatchewan. <laughs> oh my goodness! I almost jumped into the computer screen. I was like, "What?" Saskatchewan. Patty B says, "Say good night, Claire." Said George. Good night, Claire. Said Gracie. That's what they he would say. Say good night, Gracie, and she would say good night, Gracie. Oh, okay. Okay, Patty B, thank you for that. Space Cadet Brett, do you think anyone has ever tried to leave Scientology by changing their identity? Um, I've never heard of that, but I heard, I have heard, and this has actually happened. I think we might have even talked about it. Um, Scientology changed identities of people in Scientology so their parents couldn't find them. Yes. That's yes. happened. That is a real thing they do in there. That's crazy. Did you and see you, Whitney and you, come? You, you did one time meet somebody in the in the uh, aisle of Home Depot, and they were wearing a full on wig. <laughs> well, that is true. We have we There's have that. <laughs> we did have, meet up with somebody who had who had recently escaped, and we switched vehicles. And I met him in the plumbing aisle of Home Depot, <laughs> and he was like, "The keys are in the two inch pipes." And I was like, <laughs> okay. And I looked over and I was like, oh my God, he was wearing a whole fro. I was like, oh dude, okay, here's my keys. Let's not be, this is, you're going way overboard with this. Um, did you see Whitney Cummings said she was on a mission to find Shelly, even got a bus? Love you guys. I didn't see that. I'll no. look at that. There's a lot of comedians that have been throwing um, shade. Thank you for that nuts and board. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to check that out. Yeah. Um, there is, I was watching this show, it's called the Y files or just Y files, W H Y files. It's a guy with a goldfish called the hecklefish. <laughs> and he just, he just tell, he's just, it's got, kind of got weird stuff. I don't even know how I ended up watching the guy's video. I don't even know where it came from. It showed up in my feed probably because I got lots of Scientology nonsense on my feed. This guy's video came up in my feed. 
Anyway, I was watching a video or two of him, and then just in the middle of one of the videos, he just went on a rant about Scientology, and the fish bleeped him saying the word Scientology. The fish, <laughs> the fish was like, don't talk about them. Their lawyers are watching. And I was like, wow, even the goldfish knows to watch out for Scientology. Anyway, um, since I heard of Dave's dolls, I like to call him Puppet Boy. I like that freezing your project. Yeah, that's a good one. Puppet boy. We're going to add that to the list. Yeah, Puppet. we are right now. Thank Puppet you. Boy. Puppet boy. Like I said, all the names are great. I don't know why we can't. This has been a thing that could just be somebody had a bad idea to call something the only one thing. If, if there's 10 good names for it, let's call it all 10 good names. Right. And we just refer to it by all those names. You can and identify your doll with whichever name you that's like right. the best. And we put it in the store. <laughs> we'll list all the names in the store, all the different <laughs> names that it has. We will list it by all the, we could even just make multiple items of the same thing. Mm -hmm. We could have one that just says, what, it, what I, I even Troll of the name. board. Troll of, uh, no, but what did the guy just call? Puppet boy. Oh, puppet it'll boy. say puppet yeah, boy. Puppet boy. And it'll have the price. And then another one will say troll the hole and another price. It'll be the same doll. It'll just be multiple listings. <laughs> I love it. We're doing it. Thank you. All right. Um, Bo Explores. Love y'all. Cold conversations going live tonight. See. SPTV. Oh, nice. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Bo. We love it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, super sticker from Denise L. Thank you, Denise. Nice. Um, Mickey. Uh, great couples remember two plus. Oh, you Jeff. Did that oh one. yeah. I did that yeah. one. Um, rain virus. What Osa does to couples is very much like the Gary Newman song. My name is Ruin. Oh, Ruin. But you say you spell it rain? No, rain virus is who is who wrote this comment. But it says my name is Ruin. No, he's, Rain is saying there's a Gary Newman song. My name is Ruin. And that's what oh. Osa does to couples. Which, oh. by the way, Rain Virus made me this. Thank you, Rain Virus. I'm pretty sure I got that right. Okay. Well, thank you, there Rain you Virus. Go. I appreciate it. Lauren S. says, Claire, you look gorgeous tonight. Miss seeing the lives you would have Aaron with Aaron. Have an awesome weekend, you too. Yeah, Aaron has got like, uh, I think he's got like 175,000 subscribers now. Yeah. He's slaying it over there. But um yeah, we haven't been. I haven't. We haven't been doing lives. I think Claire's the only person. Amy, uh, is Amy right? You've been doing lives with Amy. And that's yes. about it. Yes. Um. Oh yeah. Was Mark's auditing auditing by TC included in his free letter debt? No, they conveniently left that off the list. <laughs> so not well, only was he a shitty auditor, but it wasn't even worth charging me for. That's how <laughs> bad it was. Because it was student auditing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It was student auditing. I don't think yeah. you can charge for that. No, you can't. Yeah, there you go. Student auditing. Um, thank you, Megan. Uh, Patty B. Thank you, Patty B. Um, Ash Hole Craft. Can Amy Scobie play Miscavige in the Osa reenactment? I love her and Claire's video so much. Those two are great. Mark, I guess you're okay, too. Uh, oh, I know. Don't I know it? Chump Change Express over here. I can't hey even now. get one video in on my own channel anymore. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there, babe. Skipper of the land <laughs> whoopettes. Oh, Thank you for your courage. I felt hopeless when a friend spiraled down the Scientology toilet bowl several years ago. I support your mission. Yeah, it is a bummer. We do have people watching the channel. Are you doing that? No. I didn't that do that. Me. Was not me. We got body things in here. Yeah. Um, we do have a lot of people in here that have family members or friends that also join Scientology mm -hmm. and they're trying to figure out what Scientology is all about so they can get them out or something like that. If you know somebody that you want to find out about, send us an email or uh, uh, go to the Blown for Good uh, contact page at blownforgood.com and send us a thing. If we know where they are, we'll try to track them down. And if you want us to put the word out on the lives, we'll ask on the lives. Um, I, we usually try to find out kind of behind the scenes about that so, sort of thing, because if we ask on the live, your person, your person's going to get lit up if they're still in there. Um, but if we ask kind of around the whisper web, and if we ask the people that are still in that talk to us, we can ask them to kind of poke around and see what they know. Um, yep. Ola says, I live 10 minutes from the Swiss org. By the way, it's not Zurich. I have a hoodie from Aaron with your faces. I'm going 
they're wearing it soon. Oh, thank nice. you. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> we love that. That's always good. Um, S D A F C 88 super sticker. Thank you for that. Um, wow. We got, we did it guys late to the show. Just want to say hello, Mark Fisher. Thank Mark you very Fisher. much for Mark Fisher. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate Mandy it. Mandy Me just bought my Hail Zenu shirt. Love you guys. Thank you, Mandy Yay. Me. Appreciate it. And then another super sticker for Mark Fisher. Thank you guys. Oh my God. That was a marathon 220. Yes. Um, thank you we, for, yeah. Thank you for everybody who tuned in. Um, what do we need to do something else? We we're just going to end with a giveaway. We're going to end with a giveaway. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, um, somebody said Norton Air Force or became San Bernardino. He's right. Norton Air Force Base became San Bernardino International Airport, not Ontario. You're exactly right. Um, we used to go to Ontario Airport if we had to. Uh, we couldn't. We didn't have time to go to LAX. That's why I got confused. <laughs> but yes, Norton Air Force is San Bernardino International Airport a real thing? Like it did it actually is doing international flights? We always joke like, oh my god, they're never going to do international flights. Probably, I, be Maybe I they believe did. it. Yeah, they had big runways because it used to be Air Force, so they could pretty much land any plane there. Yep. But um, one hundred five North Leland Norton Way, San Bernardino, is the SBD International Airport. There you go, SBD. Yep. SBD. Um, did Mark see the Where's Shelly milk carton? Michelle Carpenter. Oh, Michelle, I'll show him. He's been gone, obviously. Yeah, she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't show me anything either. I don't get to see it. Hey now. My cage is, doesn't even have windows in it. It's oh all bars gosh. and no no windows. Mark um, is not a big fan of backstory. Oh wait, as there's he more. Calls it. Um, oh, well, if one of TC's stupid movie stunts fails one of these days, how do you think DM will handle that? Oh, DM will just pick up another TC. He doesn't give a shit. He yeah. talks so much smack about Tom Cruise, and he did so many things that a, a real friend would not do to Tom yep. Cruise. It's so weird that Tom Cruise thinks that he doesn't backstab him every chance he gets. Um, yep. And I don't know about Tom, but they start spreading these rumors. You'll see this. Every time the movies want to make some money, they say that Tom Cruise is leaving Scientology. He's never leaving. Dave would really have to do something really crazy to get him to leave. And if he leaves, Scientology's done for. So yep. Dave will do everything in his powers to keep Tom in his pocket. But, um, but the Paramount and the different production companies trying to push these movies, when they want to sell some movies, they got to leak some Scient Scientology is losing Tom Cruise stories to the uh, tabloids so they can it's sell so some It's so ridiculous. It's like, really, you've got nothing nothing more creative? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are we going to do a giveaway? Yeah. I think we have a few last comments, and then we're doing a giveaway. It oh. looks like there's uh, um, there's two last ones, and then, then we oh, can Oh, Joni go. says, I just wanted to say hi. Joni, hi, Joni. Hi. Thanks for hi. joining us. Okay, did that one. Okay, okay. and then uh, Misha, Mish, Mish Seeks says, new merch idea, Tom Cruise made me an SP. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Great, awesome. All right, now we can do a giveaway. <sighs> okay, thank you for the comments, guys. Thank you for everybody who uh, tuned in tonight. We got about uh, 1,600 people in here right now. Who wants something? Who Yay. wants something? We're going to go in the comments, and if you – Right, that you want something in the comments, we might give you something in the comments. Yep. yep um, yep. let's see here. And uh, 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 Angie English nice. merch. Okay, Angie, get some merch. Perfect. And so just Angie, for, just and just go for good to... measure, oh, yeah. Karen Radford, you get something, something. too. <laughs> there you go. So you got it, and Deviant Outcast. Okay, perfect. BFG merch would make my life. Okay, you guys need to all, um, Claire wrote down the usernames. You guys got to uh, go to the BFG contact page and send Claire your info or a link to what merch you'd like. And you're good. You get it. Yeah, that's, in, in fact, include the link because then you don't yeah. have to send me your address or anything else, size, nothing. Just send me the link from our merch store and then I can create a giveaway link and send it right back. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, so they don't, you don't even need their info. They literally, nope. you can send them a link and they can just get it. Yep. Love it. Yep. <laughs> okay, guys, we did it. I'm back. Yay. Ain't you not going to get me back into the cage? <laughs> um, okay. Oh, my we're gonna goodness. Do more videos. I'm never going to live this down. We're going to do. We're going to. <laughs> They're going to start a free mark, this That's free right. Zenu and free, free mark. <laughs> free mark. No, Zenu's free. We're good. We've been making plans, me and Zenu. 
Um, uh, thank fun. you for everybody who tuned in. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, we're going to do something new. I'm going to try to have it ready for Sunday, but we're going to put songs at the end of our videos. Okay. And I don't exactly know how I'm going to do this, but we're going to try to do it for this next video on Sunday. And, um, so right now there is one SPTV blown for good fan that has sent me, I'm going to say 25 songs. Yep. At least. So I'm going to put his songs to video and we're going to put them at the end of our videos. I, I'm not, I'm not going to be the first to say they ain't my type of songs. I would not listen to these songs, but he's the only one sending me songs and he sent me a lot. So and, I so, and, feel, the, and the lyrics on, on these are very creative. I must they are say. funny. And I, I will see if I can put the lyrics on. We'll put them in the description. We'll figure out a way to do it. Or maybe we'll just put them up on the screen or something. I don't know. We have to figure out exactly how we're going to do this. But um, if you want your song at the end of one of our videos, then you got to send us a song. And it can't be copyrighted stuff. This guy, there's no way this guy stole any from, from anybody. He has a unique style. So he's probably going to get at least 20 videos worth of his songs put on because um, I haven't gotten anybody else. So if you've, if, if somebody else has got some um, silliness that they want to send us in music form to put on the end of the videos, we're going to start, I'm literally going to just start editing them and tagging them um, to the end of videos that we do. And even the lives, when we do a live, I'm going to load up the video and I'm going to put it on and it's going to play for 10 minutes after the video is over. And I guarantee you that this guy, he, he's going to lock up the content for a while just because he, he sent so much stuff. Yeah. So that's something else we're going to do. Um, I love that you guys tuned in. Thanks for all 1500 you guys. I hope some of you got some merch. Um, for those of you who didn't, you can head over to the blown for good merch store in the description and get something. But um, yeah, I'm glad to be back. And um, until next time. And uh, then that's where I push this outro thing.